Hello and welcome to our first full look at Manor Lords. We've got access to the early access press release right now. Uh, we checked this game out in a demo some six months ago, back when it was only just the city builder. Now we've got the combat, we've got trade, we've got other districts, we've got the whole kit and caboodle. This is a press release, so it might have some bugs. I know it. Ha I know it has some bugs already. Uh, but this is my first full look at it. I haven't checked it out off stream. I've been dying to get into it. We're gonna see everything fresh and new and tasty and delicious. I can't wait. We're gonna name our guy Turgulus. He's gonna look like, oh, Turg is always a big fat man. It's true to his spirit inside, his orcish beliefs. We got ourselves some nice primary, secondary colors. I love it. Little green, maybe? Little gold, maybe? Ooh. Ah, I like the multi-tone in the symbol. So nice. You know what? I really should probably go with teal, seeing as it is the channel color. Then maybe a little purple and gold. This would be the truest to us. A chicken? A cauldron? You know, I might go with just a classic castle. Oh, no, that looks beautiful. How do we not go with that? Chili Joel, thank you for 36 months. Is that three years? That is three years. Holy moly, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. A bunch appreciated. Welcome to the Banner Lords. Uh, I love this. This color, this color scheme works aces for me. You know what? Let's just keep it as is. It's perfect. I'm going to save it just in case. It feels right. We've got the rise to prosperity, restoring the peace on the edge. Survive the attacks and reach the large town. Conquer every region or reach the large town settlement level. After that, you may choose to continue in endless mode. That seems reasonable. Let's play on the default. I see challenging starts us in winter and it just seems like probably a bad idea. Early access map. More coming soon. AI city building is still under rework. Dive right in. Dive right in. Oh, man. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, this is kind of like a city builder meets total war is the best way to describe it. It starts as kind of like a banished like city builder. And then eventually you end up growing and having big armies and conquering other regions around the map as you grow and explore. A new message. Where others see trouble, you see potential. These lands shall become rich and prosperous under your skillful management. Reach the large town settlement to achieve victory and unlock the full mode. In Manor Lord's family need food and fuel and a roof above their heads to survive. Supplies in the region above shows how much you've got left. Where's our little camp? Over here. Homeless people's tents, a hitching post supplies. We've got wild animals, a rich stone deposit, a clay deposit, berry deposit, which is seasonal but rich. Over here, some iron. Okay, I feel like we've got iron, clay, and stone. That feels like some good building. To the north, we've got some good clay, some game. To the east, wild animals, good iron, good clay. Yo, I feel like we've got the makings of a castle, some brick buildings, and some solid weaponry. So beautiful. So beautiful. Uh, if that's iron, or that's that, and that's the clay is just, I think, all of this dirt. We got hunting down there. We've got that there. I want to say we build right around in this section. We've got a beautiful little crossroads here. I like all the vibe of this. This feels good to me. What's this nerd doing? Being in the know and such? I know. Such a nerd. Noroth, hello. Looks like I just started. We have just started. 
every region in Mandalore has strengths and weakness. Sure to check the resource deposits. Investigate the soil fertility. If your region has weak fertility, consider setting up trade early. How do I check soil fertility? Uh, ooh, ooh. You know what? Let's pause. Visit mode. This allows you to go into like first person. Underground water. I love it. Emmer fertility. Flax fertility, barley fertility, rye fertility. Okay, so no flax, no barley. But good access to rye. Some decent em emner. I feel like we can make this farming ground. Maybe a little farming ground down here. We can forget about flax and barley. Smell. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to try to set up like farming up here, industry over here, houses kind of along the road, and maybe our manor, our keep itself will be right here in the center. I love the idea of this. Well, workers fell nearby trees to produce timber and produce trees into firewood, produce timber into planks and replant trees. All of our food is down this away. So I feel like I don't want to log too much of that stuff. So, uh, roads, yes, construction. Let's go logging camp. For now, I want to say just like right here. So good. Did Manor Lord drop today? The early access just started like five minutes ago. You're just in time. Timber requires oxen to be moved. Villagers automatically get the ox when they need it. What I'm going to need to do is move all of this stuff over. A granary, a storehouse, a pack station. Which allows you to do trade goods. A hitching post. So let's set this guy up here next to that lumber yard. Burgage plots. So this is like the basic housing and everybody's allowed to have kind of some like backyard stuff. Snaps the road, future extensions, first two points, yada, yada, yada. We have a well for water, which we're gonna need. couple of spots we could probably build it. For now, I think I'm just going to do it up here. Marketplace, firewood cart. And then I'm going to just say we're probably going to need some houses. I think if we could do them all the way back to the edge of this wood. It says we have five homeless people. I'm not clear if that's five families. That is so many. Seven is too many. Four is almost enough. Six is too many. Where's the magic number? Five. I guess we need the wood before we're even allowed to get started on it. So let's let them get started. I do have supplies. I do have tents. I do have a hitching post. Uh, it does mean we're going to have to move up the road from our little homeless location. Which is an ideal. Wheat, flax, barley. A farmhouse can employ families on the field. Pastures, sheep farm. Windmills, communal farm. We've got bloomeries, smithies, a clay furnace. A malt house, a tannery, a weaver workshop, and a dyer's workshop. Trading post, livestock trading post. 
resources in Manor Lords has to be physically moved. It can take a moment, so feel free to change the game speed as required. Settler's Camp. Costs 250 bucks, which we do not have. We actually have no money. A Shrine and Erase Shrubbery. I don't know how to gather all this stone. Ah, stone cutter camp. Free relocation. So I suppose we could just set that up like here and uh, give it a little road access perhaps. Beautiful. Mining pit. I'm going to try to behave relatively well and not build too much to start. Truth be told, this stone pit is probably very low priority. Manor Lords is out. Early access for creators is out. Press builds are out. So we're getting into it. Rye bread was the most common bread in medieval Europe by a lot. The music is great. It is very good so far. I feel like we're going to need... What do we need here? Exposed goods in a generic storehouse. And a granary. Come along, lad. Homelessness. So we need a storehouse for goods. And we need a granary for food. All the farming we said is going to kind of be up here. So if we were to put the granary right here. I think we could cheat that. And then the storehouse. Well, we don't even have the room for it yet. We get to enjoy the fruits of our labor as people build. Come on. Yeah, that oxen's got to go so far right now to bring up all this wood. As we put together our first logging camp. Folks are digging up the well. Oh, I love that everything is in steps. There's so few games that you really see everything kind of be built like piece by piece. And I remember in the demo that just being my absolute favorite part of the game. It's just how much you can just watch people build. Um, So much so. That you can even go into this mode. And see as your people set up shop. Everyone's like, sure, it'd be nice if we had some homes. Something to do. Summer's coming soon. And soon the beating sun. Summer's coming soon. And soon the beating sun. So this is nice. We get to get a little bit of a view of like what our world is going to look like. As people come up this main road... Oh, what a beautiful little valley. We'll have houses kind of lining the sides of this valley. A bit of a marketplace here in the middle as this opens up into the, like the full estate in front of us. A perfect little look at that. We'll have some stuff on the sides here kind of lined by these trees. And then as we open up into this greater field and hillside, this is where all of the, like, industry is going to exist. Iron pits, clay pits, brickworking. You know what this place needs? A big car parking spot. That's exactly what it needs. Before and after shots, right? Oh, 
man. Those poor ox got some distance to travel with those trees right now. It's kind of nice just to get the early view. One thing a lot of people have been saying uh, about this game, people who have been playing it in kind of like the early access on the Discord and, and, and the publishers is like, you spend a lot of time, or you can just spend a lot of time, just enjoying your town. Which is kind of, I feel, rare. So this will be the stone cutting camp right here. As they work away at all the rocks up in this hill. And then bring it down to... I mean, I guess kind of where the castle is going to be up in these forests. So they don't have to go too far with it. The dust as it pulls along. One single log at a time. My god, things didn't move fast in the olden ages. Yeah, it's great. That stone will come right down into this. This logging camp eventually will move as we clear out everything. As it becomes better and better farmland. This region alone is pretty big. Yeah. I mean, we have like all this forest over here too. Noosel. Noose. Nooslo. Trade point. Cheap goods for import. Good value for export. So we have trade right off the edge of the map here, too. Just up past this little cliff face. Ooh, isn't that lovely? What a natural border to, like, set up defenses. We could easily run... I don't know where this road goes. This road just kind of ends. So we could actually run this road up here to connect with these guys as well. A couple of roads just winding through the forests. All right, where'd that ox go? He went home. Okay, so the logging camp has both the logs. Come along, lad. I'll probably give that hitching post the next high priority. He's going to do the well first. Come on. Everyone must be going home to sleep. Snoozy folks in the homeless camp. Yeah, we only have five logs here, so once we pack up all of this... Get a couple of warehouses, granary, and whatnot. We can move all the supplies, and then we can move out a little homeless town here. Oh, man. The ox works day and night. Everybody else, not so much. Uh, so one thing about the game is that rain does a lot on your exposed stocks. Which has got me a little bit worried about that, but... Assign a family wherever you would like to start production. Livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. You can bind it in a workplace permanently in the advanced tab. Watch out so that you have an unassigned oxen if you have construction going on. So these guys are just going to start absolutely pillaging all of the trees nearby, which is great because I want all this cleared out for farmland. I want all this cleared out for construction, for homes. Summer's coming soon. Soon, this granary should probably take some priority. 
Uh, I suppose we're also gonna need stone cutting now. Even the granary requires stone, so... Having that up and running early will be good. Our approval, 46%. We're doing better than most modern politicians. Two families unassigned, three families on the job, cutting down trees. We are running out of food already. Probably because everything is getting destroyed by the rain. Let us see if we can't set up perhaps a foraging hut. You know what? I'm going to do this here. I know it's a bit far, but... You know, actually, hold on. We could just grow this road a little bit further. And then it doesn't need to be quite so far. People require food. We need food and fuel. We need less homeless people. We're actually completely out of food. I suppose a hunting camp here wouldn't hurt. So we'll put those on high. And get the granary going as well. Nature has to go. We got a city to build. <laughs> Time to build the homeless industrial complex. I mean, that's one name for it, for sure. I still got three logs left here. All right, we're taking them step by step. Uh, I guess we have, like, two people constructing. One guy constructing and one guy who's, like, moving logs. So I'm probably going to cut down some of the loggers here. Those guys are prepping the forager's hut spot. This guy is working on the hunting camp. Which actually doesn't require any materials. I should have done this immediately. Let's throw somebody on that right away. This guy is hopefully bringing that log up to the old berry bush. Oh, cool. He actually dropped a log off from the other supplies and then picked up a fresh tree to bring it up here to the forager's hut. Number of months before supplies run out. Zero. Stone looks like it might be taken by hand. So they should get the granary going soon. Need to deal with the homeless problem? I can put you in touch with Soylent if you want. I'm sure they're willing to offer some accommodations. I don't know if that's what we're going for. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to get rid of this hitching post. Order a new horse. I got no money, so... I guess not. Upgrade to a worker camp. Best suited as worker accommodations for outposts. I mean, I suppose we could live, uh, leave some stuff over here. 
if I wanted to set up a small little like hunting and foraging town to bring supplies back in for the main town that could actually potentially be a decent idea Yeah, okay, the hunting is going well. We're getting a couple of things. It's working together. Agent has killed us before we've started. No food, no fuel, no homes, no hope. Request more market area for their stalls, the hunting camp. Pack station, hitching post. Tavern, church, corpse pit, marketplace. Provide space for assigned families to set up stalls and distribute their products to burgage plots. We could do the stalls right here in the center. 15 stalls. I mean, that seems like a pretty good idea. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically as long as there's enough space on the market. Hover over specific categories to check your supply and demand. Burgers cloths closest to the market get their market's requests filled first. Fuel, food, and clothing. All right. Well, I guess... Fuel is probably the next thing I might need. Probably houses. Probably houses are the next things I need. Realistically? Here we go. 12 wood. Cannibalism's a goo then? Nobody's built that stonecutter camp yet, but. I have one unassigned guy, that's why. So we need to take somebody off of logging. So that we actually have people who are available to build. The man can hope. Draggable square thing? Oh, it's so good. Uh, I suppose the problem is I actually need two unassigned families. Because I need one guy to drive the ox, and I need one guy to actually be able to build. So this must be our little builder. Our little build a beer. Setting up the granary. So hopefully our food can stop rotting. Stall. Nice. I wonder if maybe I didn't need the granary if all I really needed was the marketplace right away. All of the houses are two. I guess probably the well, the marketplace, and then like food is the first things. People suffering from disease may stop working. Access to herbs can speed up their recovery while a varied diet increases disease resistance. There we go. All right, are you guys like bringing the logs to us or bringing the stone down here? Or do we have any stone left? I guess is question number two. 10 stone, one log. Um, I don't know. I guess. Stable pace zero of one. Oh, I see. Livestock. How do I move the livestock to that hitching post? That's what I want to know.
or will he just go wherever he is most needed? All right, it's coming together. Guy's showing up at the last of the stone. The granary. All of our food can be safe now. We can stop having to worry about starving. And then most of these houses should start getting up and running now. I love how he's like, ah, well, I'm just going to build the foundation for a couple of houses instead of finishing one. We're going to work on these one at a time. I suppose the last thing we need to really get ourselves up and running is the storehouse. I can't squeeze it in there. But I reckon I could squeeze it in here. Well, let's put it down on pretty low priority at the moment. Because I'd really like to see some of these houses get finished. The first home? Heck yeah. Family members join the settlers. Homeless will move to the plot, and if approval is high enough, it might attract new families, too. However, families need more than just space to be happy. Click on the building to check residential requirements. Water access and church level. They need food, fuel, and clothing. Uh, and you can build backyard extensions. Vegetable gardens, chicken coops, goat sheds, eggs, vegetables, hides, apple orchards, bakery, tailor's workshop, blacksmiths, breweries, cobblers, joiners, armorers, boyers, all sorts of stuff. I feel as if probably a vegetable garden and a chicken coop make the most sense to start with as we build up our first homes. Can you go inside the homes? I don't think so. Pass me the hammer, you? Based on how that guy went inside, I think no. But you can come into the back and like hang out with the chickens. Little chick chicky chicky coops. I need to drill holes for the pegs. <laughs> These guys got an outhouse back here along with their vegetable gardens. That's good. Everybody's got somewhere to poop now. Do these cost anything to make? Oh, yeah, they cost money. Which I, be honest, I didn't think I had any. Regional wealth. Cool. I guess I had a little bit. Birds gave no, no shite about the wall. No, they went just straight through that. Homes look unique. Yeah. So the idea is like Burgage Plots is like a very real thing um, in the medieval ages where kind of everybody had um, on top of somewhere to live. They, they kind of have like their, their hobby job would be in their backyard. Uh, so whether that's, you know, doing some farming, raising chickens, doing like backyard tailoring, whatever it might be, everyone kind of had a way to also make some money in their backyard. And I like that, like, they all open up kind of into the forest here, too. We have a very egalitarian town where everybody has, like, the same amount of space. Everyone is equal in our town. But yeah, different styles. To get more population, you need to have empty burgage plots and your approval needs to be over 50%. New development point. Oh, okay. So this they didn't have in the demo. This was all uh, like under work. After you reach the next settlement level, you'll be granted a development point. 
Development branches make your regions more efficient. To enact policies, you need to raise your administration level by building administrative manor buildings like the manor. Development policies production. Sheep breeding, orchardry, heavy plows. Fertilization, bakery, irrigation, rye cultivation. Trapping, forest management, and beekeeping. Firewood cart, a permanent market stall which provides passive income of firewood as long as the region has enough regional wealth. And a food cart, passive income of bread. Oh, so this is like you're importing. Cool. Establishing a trade route always costs a max of 25 regional wealth. Basic armor making. Charcoal burning. Deep mines. Locked in early access. Okay, there is still some stuff locked. Advanced armor making. Master armor making. I'm interested in this because we have access to iron. Um, though there's some stuff we clearly need to get like figured out first. Rye, irrigation, fertilization, and bakeries. What is our... Um... Oh no, where did my overlay panel go? How do I see that? Clearly there must be a button. Construction tab is C. Quick burgage plot for H. Cinematic mode, control groups. Tab, show more information maybe. Hmm. Cycle between towns. Next construction category, control groups. Damn. Maybe I just need to be like in, ah, yeah, you just need to be in construction mode. Uh, so rye is actually something that would be good. We have pretty good access to rye. So let's grab apple orchards. Three years. I don't suppose we have any idea of where we would put those. But we could have a huge, huge rye field back here. Exposed goods. You're my storehouse. You're my exposed goods. So that rock is moving to a storehouse. All of that wood is gone. <laughs> I'm going to destroy this. And then hopefully we will just start moving all of our stuff over. All right. Well, we got the basics set up. It's good to see. I feel like some firewood. Workers fell nearby trees to produce firewood. Why don't we like put this kind of on the outskirts out here, maybe by this berry collector or better yet, all of this wood, I don't really need. Why don't I actually just put it like right into town for right now? Why not? Forester's hut, charcoal kiln, hunting camp, forager's hut. The mining pits. I guess I'd like to know how do we get these um, apple orchards down early. Used to employ families on the fields. Farm workers plow the fields as soon as winter passes, but no later than November. Then they sow them with the chosen crop. If I have to spend another winter in Albert's barn, Pastures for livestock, sheep, windmills, communal ovens. 
Bloomeries, Smithies, Clay Furnace, Malt House, Barley to Malt, Hides to Leather, Wool and Yarn to Linen, Berries into Dyes. Trading posts. Oh, they're big. And then the manor. So we need a better village. We need 15 stone and it looks like 20 planks. So something like the saw pit up here. Kind of thinking. Just an ugly straight road. Some of these places are not even gonna, like, until we attract more families, I don't even think we can really make much use of them. That's beauty. I like that. Couple more plots for the town. Seeing lots of reports saying Mandalore is getting a Series X release at a later date. Can't find anything from the dev team or publishers. Just fake stories. But like an Xbox Series X. I think they've been pretty tight-lipped about console stuff at the moment. Because they don't want to promise anything they can't necessarily deliver on. I think certainly the focus seems to be on getting just kind of like the main game up and running. So you make planks, but until I have extra people, I want one guy on construction right now. I don't know if anybody's ever going to move that stone. running out of fuel well good news i just assigned somebody to the woodcutter's lodge who should go and make a firewood stall in the marketplace that's cool as hell i suppose i'd have to assign someone probably to the storehouse in order for them to bring all that stone and whatnot there I love that it's like it's not just like you assign a person it's actually you assign the entire family to work there I quite enjoy that I feel like you know they get to chop up the wood here and then store it in the storehouse this I feel like maybe I could have placed a little bit better that might have been better off actually putting like there but, uh, you know, you'll live, you learn. Xbox Series X, yeah. Your town is attractive enough for people to stay or move here. Free some fuel from my neighbors. So, my, my approval rating needs to go over 50. That's what they said. In order for people to move in. Previously, we had minus 7 for homelessness, so... Hopefully now that everybody has a home, and in fact we have extra homes, we'll get a bunch of new people move in. Fields in Manor Lords need to be very large to be effective, but also take a long time to plow by hand. For a starting village, try a field size of about one Morgan. Later, if you want the region to focus on farming, you can consider spending development points to unlock heavy plows which allow plowing much bigger fields and far more efficient oxen. Remember to check the ground fertility. Some crop types are picky about the soil type they grow on. Are orchards picky? I 
I wonder how big a Morgan is. Morgan, 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 and Morgan. Oh, wow. A Morgan is pretty big. I have a problem. I want to build a bigger Morgan. You said one Morgan to start. That's exactly one Morgan. Farmhouse employs families who work in the fields. The workforce is distributed proportionally in accordance with the field's priority level. When crops are growing, they absorb nutrients from the soil, temporarily lowering the fertility and diminishing yields over time. Consider trop changing crop types. Wheat, barley, or flax. Uh, I guess wheat, because I can't actually grow all the other things. Hmm. I wonder how I grow apple fields. Nemke, good morning. Apple orchard. Oh, I bet it's a burgage plot upgrade. It is. Wow, though. I got to wait three years for it to get bigger. Maybe. I wish I could have someone with just like a super huge burgage plot. Generic storage full. The saw pit? Kind of. Yeah, we just, uh, we need more bodies. We are up to 51% approval rating because we've got more food variety, it looks like. Eggs, meat, and berries. Nice, the chickens are producing. We should be making vegetables soon, too. I suppose a church is in order. Plank. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. Crops, farms, workers plow the fields as soon as winter passes. Then the crops are transported to the farmhouse and wheat is threshed into grain. Oh, it's big. I mean, I think realistically is I want it like where all this logging stuff is. I could, in theory, expand this road out further and put it like right here. You know what? I'm going to do just that. That way I can have farming all along here. And it'll kind of be like a central point. I think that'll actually work really nice. A wooden church. I suppose those probably did exist. They just didn't last till today like the stone ones. We also need stone. Um to make it so winter is approaching oh my god well i certainly didn't get any of this field <laughs> set up we are in autumn for those who want to see spring frequent rain seasonal deposits regrow summer crops grow possible droughts autumn harvesting plowing and sowing of crops Oh, should I be sowing right now? Seasonal resources are gone. Firewood consumption doubled. Lack of firewood might cause freezing. Sheep sharing forbidden in the winter. Um, real talk. 
Should I have somebody on the farm? Plowing, sowing, crop. I mean, it's not even plowed right now is the problem. The field is not set to fallow. Workers will plow it and sow the crops as soon as possible. Yield will increase as it grows and is harvested in September during the harvest season. Okay, so it is... It's November right now? I guess. I guess. it's It still says plowing and sowing, so... I guess I just missed harvest, which makes sense. So if I start plowing and sowing... will be prepared for next season. Walt Disney Studios theatrical release universe is getting complicated. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes and ending with Mufasa. I don't know that that's how the Disney cinematic universe is working, but I, I'd, I'd, I'd listen to how you plan to chain these together. Early churches would have been wood before they became super proficient at masonry. Yes, absolutely. And there are still lots of wooden churches today. The people farm their own house plots in their spare time. That's how it happened in real, real life. Yeah, well, I mean, like these guys literally have a, like a vegetable garden back here. These guys have chickens. These guys have nothing because I can't afford anything else. Clearly, I need a tax policy. We can name our region. Oh, Turgopolis. Not in the EU. There's not wood churches, at least not in the UK. Too wet. Mm. That does track. It kind of depends on how much upkeep you want to give onto them. The thing is, is that the stone churches are just like a lot less upkeep over time. Uh, we're maxed out on log storage, so why don't I move these guys over here and start making planks? Homies are plowing the fields. No unassigned families to guide the ox. I think that's okay. Unless it means they can't get a log here. I think it means they can't get a log there. Sheep farm. Workers collect wool and grazing sheep. Sheep must be imported via a livestock trader. A windmill. I'm sure I'll find a spot for that eventually. Converts grain to flour and then an oven to convert flour to bread. Everything just costs wood right now, so... I do need... a clay furnace. Actually, I guess I need a mining pit. <laughs> mm, looks like that little patch there would be the way to do it. Try to match a little bit of the natural slope of this land. I want to get us prepped for the next season as much as we possibly can. Barter connection allows you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. Employ mules. Storehouse, a granary, hitching posts. Fulfills one level of entertainment access for the Burgage plots. Needs ale to function. Corpse pit. Family members join the settlers. Burgage plot level one. Awesome. So 
I'm going to throw somebody on there. Damn. It took all November, and we only got the field plowed 40%. I'll be real. I thought we were going to do way better than that. How do I uh, make clothes? Does that have to be a backyard thing? Why do I have to carry this alone? A little cosmetic shrine right here. A little traveler shrine. I, I like that. Might as well fancy up the town a little bit. Forcers huts plant new trees in the specified zones. So the berries are shrinking. We're actually out of berries. The animals were doing pretty good on 15 out of 20. Uh, I suppose if we're still just like building stuff, we could set up an iron mine as well. If we're prepping for the future. Bit of a journey. Uh, workers in the foraging hut can't actually find anything to forage, so I'm going to throw them in the storehouse with the ox so that they can go and hopefully grab the last of these goods out of here. Because I'm sick of this little notification and I'd like it to be gone. No wooden buildings in the UK other than garden sheds. Might it also have something to do with the lack of wood in the UK? Or is it just that that wood has all been like cut down over time? All right, so I have 10 living spaces and I guess six people. So we're pretty comfy on that. I want some more wealth. I want to figure out how to get our wealth up. Berries. Anywhere else. Best in flavor, berries. We got wood. We got berries. We ain't paying taxes to the king. Hides. Mining pits. Mining pits. Good stuff. Love to see it. Saw pits. Got lots of stuff. Do I have enough to build a church? I do. Provides hallow ground for burial of the dead. Now, there's the great big question of where does the church go? So this is like a cliff face. This is where I want my like, we're going to have a marketplace and we're going to have kind of like our manor lord is going to be up here. I think the town is going to mostly expand in this direction. Feels kind of natural. So we could do...
You know what? We could do the church like right here. It's a little outside of town. I guess alternatively, we could do the church like right on the market. Because if we end up having like a road that goes... I guess realistically is like I have to have a road that goes like this. And then the church could go right there. I kind of like that. Then it's close to the to the castle. UK has a fair bit of woodland on as much as it should, but there are forests and woodland area. Okay, okay. I mean, I guess this makes sense. You always, you know, you see like uh, the nobles riding through the woods hunting foxes and stuff like that. And in fact, I've been hunting in the woods in England before, so I should probably know this a little better. The church is to go on the highest, most expensive bit of land. I mean, we could put it up on this hill. The only problem being is like, that's where the good farmland is. can't go here. This is even better farmland. It would go really well right here. But I would need to move this hitching post and the granary. Oh, it'd, go, it'd go really well right there. Hitching post is pretty easy to move. And I was talking about moving that granary anyway. Gave the old ox a hand for the month old brat. He spat it in my face and tried to carve me a new nipple. Carve you a new nipple? It's a bit of a weird choice. Uh, so the granary then also gets to move. to a large granary. Uh, I suppose I could just put the granary right here then. It would be right next to the marketplace. That does kind of vibe a little bit more with what we're going for here. It wouldn't interfere with this farmland too badly. I think that makes more sense. feels like we got lots of good supplies right now. You know, he says that, but then he also realizes there's nobody working that stonecutter camp. I am one stone off. Oh, no, I'm not. We're good. Great. It is nice that they give us all of our stuff back. I appreciate that they're kind about that. If we get rid of the shrine. Why not? You're not interfering with either of those. If I got rid of this road... Maybe it's just because these supplies are here right now. Yeah, let's get those tucked away. New families are moving in. You love to see it. That granary is good. Let's get somebody back on that storehouse to move those rocks over.
Mm, I think they're actually getting rocks from here. Wow, they dug up 50 rocks really fast at the Stonecutter's camp. Honestly, I think we're going to have to upgrade this right away. Throw someone back on the logs. All they need is the good ox. Drag a handful of stuff coming down. We're into February already. It's a beautiful year. And this has, I think, literally 10 times as much storage, it looked like it said. Yeah, it goes from 20, 250 to 2,500. Face the winter and have your settlers not abandon you. Achievement unlocked. Uh, and we are getting more and more dudes. Oh, we have to replow the whole field. Okay, so Weir doesn't have somebody working. The berry place does not, which it could use. Because it's a fresh season. You don't. You currently don't. And you currently don't. We're given no new additional funds. I'm assuming we need to figure out... Ah, Burgage Plot's level 2 or higher. I need a church. That is literally where we are. We're at the church point. And I think I can't do this until they move these supplies. Which they should. Whoever these people... Oh, this is cool. You can actually see where they're gathering materials from. Currently, it is mostly planks. Here we go. There we go. All right. So that wood is picked up. Or those stones are picked up. Can I squeeze this in? Do I need to blow up this road? Do I need to blow up this logging camp? I think I have to blow up this logging camp. Which is fine. That was... That was on the menu anyway. I just didn't think we'd do it so soon. So I think I'm going to place it down here. Uh, so under gathering, we'll go logging camp. So it's going to eat into a little bit of our farmland, but not a ton. I guess the truth is, if we're moving that, we might as well move this saw pit as well. A bit of a wasteful redesign, but um, you know what? These are pretty cheap at only like two timber. The biggest cost is really, like, moving the oxes around. Oh! I think the window should go over there. You can actually relocate. For free. Good to know. All right, now the church fits. And we can even keep our little shrine in here. Just for laughs. All right, we could throw somebody else on this field.
Sop it en route. New family has moved in. So let's put somebody on that. Take them off of here. Uh, I suppose we'll end up destroying this as well. I can keep the well here. And then I think the rest just makes like good farmland to be real. I would say rather good farmland. Wow, I love the way that you can actually design this to fit like all around this area. Technically, the church needs room for graves. Watch your head there. How we feel about that is up for debate. Could I do something like wild and just go like this? Yeah. Summer's coming soon. And soon the beating sun. Berries, berries. Kind of wondering how insane I can make this farm plot. That's one Morgan. Ah, but I could design it even nicer if I so chose. Tie it all into right there. That's exactly one Morgan. It's on like good land. Unable to build. Ah, uh, I suppose because the well is blocking it. Here we go. It's a bit tricky getting it to be like the exact size that you want. But it does tend to work pretty well. Yeah, so this church does have like a path in the back here, which does make me think maybe I ought to be leaving some of this for a graveyard. You know what? I'm messing around with this. We don't even need it. We're sowing wheat in the field. We have someone working the church. Church bell sound. You get an achievement for doing this. Requirements not met. So they still need a clothing stall. of clothes, cloaks, and gambeson. Burger's plot is too low. So how do I get clothing started? Keep hearing all these achievements and thinking, don't I have those muted? They're always sneaking the way in there. Tannery linen. Hmm. It's a little bit confusing. Because, like, I can produce leather, but that's not clothes. Hides to produce leather. I mean, the hides are coming in from here. A tannery is traditionally something you want on the outskirts of town because they absolutely stink. There are some real stank butt situations. A clay furnace would make perfect sense here.
I suppose we can set up the tannery. Workers can't find anything to forage. Within their work area. Add a herb garden to grow herbs. Oh, that's nice. Ah, we can increase the size of this. We have a clay furnace. Not that we have anybody gathering clay. <laughs> but we could. And we have the tannery getting started up. Ah, linen, leather, and yarn. Okay, so it is actually... This is all we needed. A tannery should give us a clothing... Clothing uh, booth. We have a couple of firewood and food stalls here. We're producing enough that... I guess is stockpiling all of them. Dr. Sean, hello. Good morning, dude. Cemeteries connected to the church probably should go in the dead center of town. Ayawayayada. Yes! Upgrade to level 2. Generate one regional wealth per family per month. That should unlock small village. Or medium village, actually. And I think we're now getting regional wealth. So for the graveyard, hollowed ground for burial of the dead villagers. Workers become grave diggers. Not all deserve to be buried on consecrated ground. Use this building to get rid of raider corpses. Workers become grave diggers. Oh, I wonder. Yeah. Okay. So the graveyard is actually just all around the church. I don't need to worry about building extra grave territory. That is not how it works. Uh, which does mean I can absolutely build this farm field. Though I have to ask myself one question. Do I feel lucky, punk? Uh, requires underground water. I'm going to move that well closer in. And I guess I'm going to rebuild that shrine for the umpteenth time. Just for kicks. Just because of why nots. Set up a little additional road here so they can get in and out of the church a little easier. I like that. Heck yeah! Construction complete! New development points. Brewery extension, cobbler's workshops, boyer's workshops. All right, so we've unlocked level two here. We could start getting rye. Rye is more resilient and can be grown in places with lower fertility. Our area where we have farms set up is really, really good for rye. It's in fact incredible for rye. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go straight for rye. Now, unfortunately, I have planted wheat. So I think I'm going to fallow it and then go to rye the year after that. 
and we're going to set up another field here once this well is done being constructed. It is September, so it is harvesting season. It's almost harvesting season. We should have one guy. Here we go, leading this ox around. Uh, an interesting thing that I've noticed about the logging camps is that they actually leave a row of trees on the outside of town. You've got your level 2 burgage plot. Production of clothes, cloaks, and gambesons at Taylor's Workshop. Cobbler's Workshop allows to make shoes. Oh, converts all inhabitants to artisans. That's interesting. Let's do it. Uh, we do now no longer have anybody on construction, but I do feel like I could probably take somebody off this storehouse. And we're going to try to make a fresh new field up here. I go, I go like there, there. Uh, you really want to go on the outside of that, don't you? All right. That's a solid Morgan right there. Why not? What's wrong with this Morgan? Is it these supplies right here blocking me? It's got to be. So once those are moved, we can uh, move in some more people. Uh, and we're going to need more burger plots. The town is already growing. Which is great to see. I want the manor to take up a huge chunk of this, but I'm wondering whether or not could I perhaps stick in burgers plots like right here. These would be some serious noble housing. Look at the size of them. That one actually has room for what looks like an expansion. Interesting. So I don't know what all the symbols mean, but are there AI towns? I, I suppose so, yeah. Careful, you're about to run out of timber and block yourself. I don't think I am. I have 39 timber. Uh, are there AI towns? I mean, there's other people you can attack. But I guess not... Not nearby. I don't know. I thought there was. At the moment, I'm not so sure. Those are some pretty big burgage plots. <laughs> Artisan workshops can produce multiple types of goods. Select what type of good is being produced. Check the general tab in the building. Gambesons, clothes or cloaks, yarn or linen and dye. Wow, I don't have any of this stuff. I made a tailor shop and I don't have the ability to build any of it. Well, perhaps it was simply a bad day. These things are bad. Hey, 
How do I make ale? Brewery extension from malt. How do I make malt? Barley to produce malt. Do I need to farm barley as a unique thing? I do. Do I have anywhere where barley is fertile? I absolutely do not. Sheesh. So we're going to have to import barley for sure. They will attack you later on. Yeah, that's my understanding. Like we're going to need to build up armies and the like. So I was kind of thinking about throwing a tavern in here. Or here. Seems to want to fit better on this side. Oh, we might as well slap a well in right next to it. It is the tavern after all. And then we can burgage plot the rest of this. way back up to this um, cliff face. That's interesting. Way do I want that house to go? Ooh, expansion room. We haven't seen what that looks like. Uh, so I'm going to say that tavern is probably very low. That well can be low, and we'll focus on the houses first. As we grow out a little bit. I was thinking I might keep this side open and actually do a second marketplace here. Or maybe just like second storage or something, but... It's cool that the villagers have their one gear. The game is trying to be accurate as gameplay-wise game possible. Like, the villagers only do, like, one sort of thing at a time. I mean, I love the way that they, um... I like the way that it focuses a whole family into a job. This church needs to be upgraded. To upgrade this church, I need to get this clay working. Which I'm gonna need a couple of families for. These supplies need to get moved. I feel like our ox is just getting wood from other places. Ah, uh, you know why? Because it actually needs to be a guy maybe there. Hmm. Journeys. Dung and fertilizer. Lots of leather. We have a bit of grain. So the grain we need to make... Um, we need to windmill. That's just good farming land. I don't really want to get rid of it. Uh, I suppose it actually makes sense for me to upgrade all of these settlements as well once we start moving more people in. All it costs is wood. Of which we have a pretty infinite supply of. I need somebody to move that so I can build this little farmland in here. Yeah. It's 
messing up my whole game. And I have a feeling it's going to mess it up for quite some time. Oh, if you rally them, they have their gear. Yeah, like they're, they're meant to have, uh, when you raise them as an army, they're meant to have kind of whatever they would have based on their jobs and what's available. Which I love. I think is really cool. I wonder about the trading post. Family members will automatically set up stalls on the marketplace to sell imported goods. I could put this in here instead of the marketplace. But it seems kind of nonsense when you think about it out loud. Dude's families are moving in nonstop right now. Lack of administrative buildings minus 10 public order. Can I build... The manor. It says I require a small village. According to this, I have a medium village. Oh, I can build the manor. Do I just build it right here? Welcome to the castle planner. Here you can edit the layout of your castle and plan the construction of new wings and towers. When you press commit, the old layout will disappear and the new one becomes constructed. <laughs> For now, the cost is also fixed. Walls and gates, outer tower, garrison tower, tax office. Okay. I see. So the manor itself is like my castle. So I don't think I want that on a road. Outer Tower, Garrison Tower, Tax Office. Okay, but I do need to actually move it like here. Interesting. It cannibalizes things in curious ways. Outer towers. Garrison tower. 10 garrison space. Max retinue size. Huh. Tax office, cosmetic only. Gates are automatically created when a wall is placed over a road. Every gate adds one timber to the construction cost. Oh, okay. So what I'd actually need to do is... Okay, I'm, I'm understanding it. I'm understanding it. 
Music straight out of Hildengard of Bif Biftigen? Of Bingen? Is that the Witcher? I feel like that's got to be Witcher. Excellent. Okay. So now I can place, say, a road between here and here and here a road between here and here at point what no what have i done oh no what have i done these aren't roads at all How far back was that save? It was right before we started building the tavern. If we have a terrible looking manor, it's going to just be a nightmare. All right, we're, this is not this is not too bad. This is not too bad at all. Very minimal throwback. It's October. We were in December. We barely lost any time. We're going to place that guy in there. Then we're going to a bunch of these Burgage plots. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I can get that nice design we had last time. to get it to stick quite to the road properly. It wants to snap to the um, to the well. Oh, it's all ruined. It's all over now. So tricky. All right, what if we just did something like this? Too steep to build. Too steep to build. Too steep to build. None of it really wants to work out for me here. Maybe if I build like this. I really liked it when it was connected just up behind this well. There we go. Road access obstructed. Curse my luck. Damn, dude. All right, you know what? I'm going to focus on the, um, the actual manor instead. So we're going to build a road up. We are going to stick a manor at the end of it like so
build it a gatehouse. I don't want it to be over all these other roads. Oh, perfect. Perfect enough. Then we have the outer tower and we have the garrison tower. Shoot projectiles at approaching enemies. So this feels like probably having this over like the farmland makes sense. Also gives you more room to build the castle. These are limited to one per region. I feel like this has to lord over everything. It can literally have that like nice poop, the poop shoot on the side there. It can point right out. Right over the main path. You gotta love it. Tax office, I think I'm just gonna slap right on this main road. And somehow I have enough to build this. Angram, hello! Excited for throwing at the K? I'm like, decently excited. I I'm, I'm curious to see what they're gonna do with it. Cautiously optimistic is kind of where I sit with Creative Assembly right now. And I feel like that's a safe place to be. You're doing well. I'm glad, dude. Very glad. To be honest, I am more excited about this than I am Thrones of Decay. All right, I'm going to set this well over here. I'm going to be a little cheeky breaky about it. And then we can burgish plot the way that we originally intended. Not enough goods, not enough wood. Oh yeah, by quite a lot. I can't just like set this up anyway. Reduce plot divisions. Oh, oh, I love that. So if I want to build a little like a noble district over here, for example. I could absolutely do that. And just reduce the plot divisions by a whole bunch. Cool. Oh, oh, that's very fun. We're going to do that for sure. Going to play Malachi Thunderbarge. I am excited about the Thunderbarge. Who I'm gonna play first though? I'm not, I'm not really sure. I, I don't I don't uh, get early access to um, any of the Creative Assembly stuff anymore, so they threw me out. Threw me out with the rest of the scum. Is the manor looking as it should? It is. It's beginning its construction. It's got some ways to go. Let's make sure this stuff is on like very low priority. I want this manor focused up first. Uh, I also want to get our farm going here. No, I guess not. Patience. Patience! Disturbing lack of Bretonian content or vampire counts. Yeah, I feel you. Tumrukin or Malkai? I'm, I'm pretty excited for Nurgle. Like, I want to see what they do with Nurgle in the new expansion. That's kind of been such like a weird sticking point. Unlike his campaign has not been particularly good. We need some wood, babies. Okay, we have a lot of wood. They just need to... 
I suppose I put 31 wood and 95 planks into this manor building, so... I might just need to be a little bit of a patient baby. This is a jam. Absolute banger. High population growth. 10 level one families. Three level two families. So 13, 9, 10. Oh, okay. So it doesn't actually show quite how that all fits. Is this homeless camp still over here? No. That's good. Here's the auto saves kicking in. Look at our town coming together. Our church, ignore the floating steps. The little market stall out front here. Lads are bringing the planks up. Yes. Build me my mana. I actually can't go in here. There's an invisible wall from where the gates are being built. Little industrial section out of town. Looks kind of nice. Farmland on top of the hill. And then everything rolls downhill to the Burgage Plots. Oh, it's looking pretty crisp. We're looking like we got a real town going. That dude just climbed out a window. And we'll have the tavern here. Another section of like houses backing onto these cliffs. And along here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Floating steps, sign of God's power. There you go. Now you're thinking about it the right way. The only downside of this is it's going to take a really long time for me to build this manor. Where if I had focused on building Burgage Plots first, I could have at least had more people to build the manor. But I suppose all things in due time. Suppose we can take someone off the forager hut for the winter. I didn't realize what a like an uneven piece of terrain uh, the castle is going to sit on. It's a little funny. But it makes sense with the, the like the big tower being, I guess, like down a little bit below. You can walk around. Yeah, it rules. It's super cool. Can't have a manor lord without a manor, can we? We cannot. It is against the rules. An absolutely barbaric choice. Well, oh, that wood is finally moved out of here. So we can actually build up the uh, the next farm. This is such a beautiful winter scene. What a landscape. Everybody hard at work in our village. I'm really hoping uh, we get kind of an increase in regional wealth as we build this. I can't believe it. I need 50 wealth to make an apple orchard. Oh, you know what I should do? I should make the Burgage plot here like a single house, just with a massive apple orchard. That would look really cool. I think I'd like that. 
What's the embargo? Am I only allowed to show so much within a set time frame? I can show as much as I want. FG! Hello! Welcome! Welcome on in! Come on in! Come on in! It's so nice to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're playing a little Manor Lord today. Let me give you the shouts. I hope you're doing well. Oh, you're playing Anomaly. How is the new expansion? I am very excited to try it, uh, but we got access to Manor Lord today. And so I have to dive into this. Welcome on in, dudes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Antique Night Dweller Goo. FG. Hello, hello. Come on in. It's super creepy. I love it. I love it. It looks spooky. Super spooks. You have Mandalores as well, but Rimworld, I know. It's it's it was a real hard toss-up between the two of them today. Um, but welcome, welcome to Manor Lords. Uh, for those of you who don't know this game, who are coming in, uh, this is a colony builder meets medieval tactical warfare, sort of like total war. Uh, we we actually we're we're just building our castle right now. Our manor for the Lord is being built right here, which is going to start unlocking uh, access to armies and little military troops that we can march around. But it is a beautiful, extremely peaceful city builder where your towns have little backyard jobs. You have your traditional like farming, you know, your your regular industry like lumbering and hunting and everything else. Um, but but cities are built in really beautiful naturalistic ways where literally things like when you're building houses you get to build like whole sections of them and they like link to the road and have little backyard industries they're incredible it's gorgeous the game is really beautiful it's coming out later this month we got some early access today we're in a quiet little winter right now a little building phase Joined at a good time. We got a bit of a town going. Nagorian, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the agency. Uh, so here in our town, we have the uh, the tavern is just being built down here. We don't have any ale yet, but we're going to be setting up trading soon. We have a little housing district here where we have a little local tailor working away, as well as some chickens and a vegetable farm. As we enter the center of town, we have the wooden church and the markets, some storage areas around here. Up the hill... We have access to our first farm. Another one is going to be being built any moment when the spring breaks. And then right kind of in this crossway here, we are starting the beginning of our manor, our castle, so to speak. Not yet quite a castle, just kind of a, a, a town, little house surrounded by wooden walls with a couple of towers, but it is just getting started. There's the entranceway. Our tax collector is gonna live there. As we head out of town, we have some wood cutting industry, some tannery. We have some clay pits up in the hills and some stone cutting being done over here. And then way in the distance, we have our little hunter's cabin, our little hunter's tent, where they venture out into the forests to gather up food. As you zoom out, you can see the game gets pretty big and you end up not just owning one manor, but many manors in many villages that kind of spawn across the whole area getting bigger and bigger and bigger but first we have to conquer our first zone so this is where we're going for today we have a shrine that's been destroyed and remade countless times the shrine outside the church we didn't know where to put it we had some building problems at the beginning but we got it all sorted out it looks a lot like banished it's got a bit of a banished field when you first start for sure i'm very excited to explore the combat because it wasn't in the um the demo at all and we're going to get a taste of it, hopefully, once our little city gets built here. We're at, sitting at 100% approval rating. Look at us go. Turgopolis, what a city. It's so nice. Uh, I will try to build this farm field. Now that this is kind of sorted out. How many Morgans? I'll get you a little bit further out. One Morgan. Can I build you? No. Ah, the well got in the way. 
Well, well, well. Three holes in the ground. Oh, that well really wants to be awfully in the way. You are limited on the amount of points you have. Points of contact you have for the buildings. Maybe if Don't I go like... Alright, I won't. Man, I'm being cursed by wells. Consistently in the way of all of my builds today. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. That's a fine field. That's a fine field if ever I've seen one. We're going to set it to rye. We'll crop rotate. Into wheat. And then fallow. I guess ideally I'm going to want a third field and I could probably just like fallow rotate. Have two of them fallow at all times and then have rye in all the others. Maybe, baby. Really like the look of this. Just the type of game. It's really peaceful. It's got some really cool things as well, like visit mode, where you can actually wander around your town and explore it in person. Watch as your families cut wood, gather firewood for the people. What's the life of a woodcutter like? That guy's bringing back water from the well. She's probably, I'm going to guess, bringing fireplace to the market stalls. You could buy all sorts of things. You want some leathers, some firewood, some berries. It doesn't look like we have much meat for sale. Some cabbages. Wow, what are our hunters doing? We got no meat for sale? Ah, there's the meat. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Coming in fresh. Come one, come all. That's as fresh as it gets, my dudes. Reminds you of Medieval Dynasty. Yeah, yeah. Medieval Dynasty, like Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's definitely got that the same like era of vibe. Our ox bringing in logs from the lumber mill into town for construction. He's a good boy, a good ox, a fine ox. Everybody's working away at the castle. It's beautiful. You can spend a lot of time just absorbed into the peace of your town here. Uh, it looks like we actually have everything in the manor. And now we're just waiting for them to finish building it. So all the deliveries are here. We just got to wait for all the um, actual construction to happen. I do hope this <laughs> connects all the way. Uh, the game is in early access. In an early access press release. So there are some things that are a little funny looking at times. Uh, we do need to upgrade two of these Burgage plots. And I've realized if I do this, I believe it will unlock Large Village for us and give us another specialization point. So I'm going to pull the guys temporarily off. Just because these should not take them very long, I don't think, to build. And actually, it's got it, that ox has deliver all of those logs. So until that happens, they're gonna still keep working on the manor in the meantime, which is pretty cool. We built a lot at the manor, probably more than we needed to. A burgage plot causes a loss of approval. Check the building panel for details. 
I mean, our approval's at 100%. I think we could do with a little bit of a downside. The church needs to be upgraded. The tavern. Oh, it's because we're running out of fuel and f clothing. Uh, which makes sense. We're just coming out of winter right now. So they use double fuel during the winter time. Infinity, hello. Belated, hello. Uh, so one of the nice things about these level two buildings is that they're also now giving us one wealth per month. Which means we can actually start adding backyard productions. Such as goats. Yeah, it seems clothing is what we're running the lowest on right now. So goats make some sense. Nice. Okay, so this is like a fallow field. So instead, they're now working the new field we just built. And the truth is... Summer's coming soon. Nice. I'm just going to end up building a third field right out here. And this is going to have like perfect triple field all around it. And I think if I leave, basically have them so they only work one field a season, a year, uh, they'd replenish quite a lot from being fallow. Which isn't a terrible idea. We'd get better harvests that way. And they, they really only have enough farmers right now to work a single field at a time, so. Settlement leveled up. We're a large village. Now, irrigation. Sheep breeding. Sheep grazing on pastures slowly multiply. The heavy plow allows us to employ oxen at the farmhouse. Faster plowing of large fields, as well as bringing crops back to storage. Trading tariffs, trapping a passive meat income. Hides from traps. Better meat harvested by hunters and butchers and from goat pens. This is all good. Is this a paradox? No, this is a hooded horse game. Double capacity of berries. Workers collect honey. Every region can sustain up to two apiaries by default. Placing more will not increase the yields. You can burn charcoal and deep mines. Ooh. Infinite resources if over a rich deposit. And then we have helmets, armor making, master armor. So, if we conquered this region next, we could have a rich iron deposit. If we conquered this, we could have rich clay. I think that's probably what we'll do. Go for the iron first. I love how you can see on this map, like you can actually see your, your town starting to form. Like it's like, it looks like it's drawn in. You don't want to believe your dad was stealing from his job as a traffic cop, but when you got home, all the signs were there. Oh my God. Did you tell him to stop? Did he refuse to yield? There's certainly only one way that could have gone. I'll stop now. <laughs> this game looks super cool and great to play. Yeah, I'm 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 so eager to get into the combat side of it because there's so much more to explore. Okay, I have enough wood. We can finally build these burgers plots. At long lasting last.
Let's do it like that. So the oxen should start carrying wood to here. Once they start bringing the wood, I will start like prioritizing some of this. Because we really need more people. The puns we didn't know we needed. That was a pretty solid pun game. Uh, this logging camp is really running out of wood. I'm starting to realize the trees have gone away from me. And it might be wise for us to actually build a foresting hut. I could forest up here. I think I'd like that. Got a little eager on my click. Now you might wonder, do I have someone actually capable of doing this right now? No. Add it to the long list of people I don't have available. But I'm trying to think about how long it's going to take me to get things done. And I don't want to be dragging trees all the way from over here. Which is inevitably what I'm going to have to start doing soon. Especially because there's berry deposits in here. And there's like wild animals down here. Which don't seem to be replenishing. Roundabout way of saying you liked puns. One could say there's no stopping the puns. I approve. Wholeheartedly. I love puns. I think they are truly the greatest form of humor we have. There's just something so foolish about it all. All right, those guys are right on logs. We got two of those plots finished, so at least now people can start moving in. Bada bing. And what I want is for these guys to plant kind of like up here, I think. Or like here? The idea being that this is going to end up turning into more farmland. New family has moved in. Excellent. You can go straight on there. He's like deep hillside burgage plots. I do wonder about like... um. Yeah, yields depend on plot size. So actually making more like vegetable gardens on these larger plots could actually get me some good stuff. And if I wanted to do, say, that giant apple orchard we talked about. Wow, hilarious. It's not even going to give me a single burgage plot here. It's just going to give me one giant piece of land. Come on. Damn, those are terrible burgage plots. I wanted to make some orchards back there. Oh, and this is going to be too steep to build on. <gasps> Ooh, I didn't think about this. Plot too small. All right, we can we can get some stuff built in here. 
Again, it's hard to get a good burgage plot, but... We've got some stuff we can work with. A beautiful summer day. The walls of the manor almost complete. Seems to be taking more time to do that than anything else. The construction is like almost done according to this. But there's four buildings on this property that need to get built after the walls are done. Uh, thankfully, we have lots and lots of new people moving on into town. So I'm actually going to put somebody on the clay pit and the clay furnace. And I think the stone cutters camp. I need clay to upgrade the church. And we're going to need a windmill and a communal oven. For all the bread. Don't forget to brace the frame of the door. You don't want it to sag. Could put it in here. I think this wall is starting to add a little bit of trouble for people. Maybe not. Maybe it's not too bad. firewood 20 planks uh, we seem okay on everything is this available for everyone i think april 26th is the full launch so right now it's just like a creator and press code uh that's gone out but soon very soon in fact all right one more piece of the wall done here we go the manor. Hell yeah. The tax office. Wow, all these are building so fast. The garrison tower or the watchtower. And then the garrison tower. Ba, 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 ba. The taxes tab. After selecting your manor to set the level of taxation, taxes can boost your treasury and influence at the cost of making your population poorer. I don't understand how people get into this building. I thought it was through here. That doesn't really connect. Fuel reserves. There is a family residing here. Albrick, Leinhardt, and Off. Land, tax, and tithe. Percentage of surplus food that's given to the church in return for influence. Five percent tithe. Ten percent land tax. Yeah, we don't really have a lot of food, but... We didn't pick anything here. If I got heavy plow, we could use fallow fields as a pasture, which rapidly restore lost fertility. And bakery produces bread from flour with twice the efficiency of communal ovens. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to get heavy plow. Right now, it seems like this is a farming village. So the real question ends up becoming, can I hire... an extra ox or a horse. Upgrade to a small stable. We'll make that a top priority. Dude, so we got like no food. Can we upgrade things like the hunter's camp? I do have to wonder. Population of a herd drops this numbers. Workers will stop hunting. Uh-huh. I have nobody working the foraging hut. That's probably why I have no food. It's September. I 
think the other flip of this is I'm producing a lot of wheat or barley or whatever this is, rye. Um, but I'm currently not like working that anywhere. Because the farmhouse turns it to grain and we need to turn the grain to flour and turn the flour to bread. So... This is going to end up being a lot of farmland here. Honestly. Let's do that. Efficiency up! Now we just got to find a spot to put a communal oven. Where the road access is not totally obstructed. I guess we'll do there, and then we'll, what we'll end up doing is driving a road up into these hills. Probably until about where this tree is. I want to say, and then we'll have a farmhouse up there. Playing anything but RimWorld Anomaly, I'm frankly disappointed. Listen, I've been waiting for this game for a long, long time. I am extremely excited to play Anomaly. It is certainly on the list. Unfortunately, this list is just never ending. Production of shoes. Bakeries, artisans, apples, goats. I suppose more chicken coops probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. Seeing how badly we are struggling with the whole food department. Uh, the other thing would be like is pastures for livestock and sheep. From grazing sheep. Sheep must be imported via the livestock trader. So. I mean, we still have some pretty good fertility out here. I could raise sheep up here. This kind of ends up becoming one of the next options is like where do i want these fields to be that's a two morgan field i could also fit another one probably over there another maybe even two morgans could fit a lot of morgans up in here why it goes off if I go back in that direction. There must be... Ah, uh, it's probably that the, uh... the land tilts, like, too much. I mean, that's a pretty good field.
So you guys are fallow in the third year. You're fallow in this year. I think you guys would be fallow in that year then. Sorry, your second year rye. So your third year rye. The intention is that they work a different field each year. We're gonna have to see how that feels. And honestly, I think we're gonna end up needing more people. What are we even building right now? Windmills? Almost definitely. Hopefully some bread can really turn things around for us. <laughs> and then the stable is upgraded. Um... I am out of wealth. Ha, and of course we're going to need somebody to work this windmill. And then I'm going to go out on a limb and say we're also going to need somebody to work that communal oven. Probably. Uh, we have policies available. Ooh, we also have a retinue, which is new. So hold on. We have policies, level one policies. Wild animals on rich deposits breed twice as fast at the cost of 50% reduced yield from crops. Citizens skip every fifth meal, reduces food consumption, but decreases approval. We have rich berries. We do not have rich hunting. Uh, and these guys are locked still. So I guess let's fast. Our approval rating is dropping. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the fact that we started taxing everybody. I see. Okay, and people are like upset at us because everything isn't as good as it used to be and they have fancier houses now. We got flour coming in. The oven's being made. So hopefully bread will help with this. I need shoes, clothes, or cloaks. I have a tailor shop, but it can't make everything because it needs linen. And to get linen, we need wool, yarn, or flax. <laughs> None of which we have. I think we need to figure out a way to get some sheep going. Flax can be weaved into linen. Ah, but we don't have a fertile ground for flax. This is our problem. We have good farming land, but we don't have good land for all of that. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I only have enough food for four months of supplies. Okay, so I want to know. Retinue. Rally. Retinue customization. <gasps> Ooh. Linhart, afraid of horses. 
Upgrade armor, import, buy locally. Oh, this is amazing. Expertise. Hans. Friedlin. <laughs> Kuntz. I think is how we're going to choose to pronounce that. And Peter. Halberds, swords. One of your citizens here, retinue, recruit ministerials and recruit men at arms. A retainer who already owns basic military equipment. Okay. Comes from a peasant family. Loves getting into arguments with priests. A collector of rare books. And arrogant and privileged. Can I rename the citizens? Absolutely, I can. Goo, are you afraid of horses? You are now. You can't stop me. As assumably, you live in one of these houses. Or in the manor, maybe? Servants? No, assumably you live in one of the houses. You've doomed us all. Regret nothing. Not afraid of horses. That's good. All right, dudes, what are we building right now? This clay pit looks like it's already half empty. Uh, I'm going to take somebody off this stonecutter camp because clearly I don't seem to actually need them. Iron into iron slabs. Iron slabs into tools. Barely to malt. Hides to leather. Wool yarn or flax. All right. We got to figure out sheep. here he says thinking about it out loud our tannery is right here I could happily go like this and then like just build like a monster pasture. It's a little bit confused when I try to do this. It's pretty good. in the way that it grabs like territory. I, I feel okay about this. Now I do need a livestock trader. Which is unnecessarily large. Why you gotta be so huge? It's, it's very small on that side. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna put him right here. You know what? I'm going to build a little shrine right here in the road so people can remember to keep Jesus in their heart. 
Just in case. Lives with the horses. Don't do it. They make stuff. They want need things to make stuff. Don't make your people needy. It's small because it's cold. How many sheep, I wonder, can I keep in here? I suppose we'll find out pretty soon. Help the hunters out a little bit, at least. So that'll be sheep. That'll be farmland. The castle is just going to basically be surrounded by farmland on all sides. Farmland and forest, which is kind of fun. As the city continues to sprawl out in this direction. Uh, I've got three months worth of food. And winter is here. Can someone start cooking bread? Certainly they can. Sheep farm. All we need now is the livestock trading post. It's true. You give them a house. They want materials. Soon they'll want a road. Uppity peasants. Uh, we can take everybody off of the forager's hut, which is kind of fun. And then we can, I guess, put somebody onto the livestock trading post. No trade. Import. What? Fallow field is a pasture. Rapidly lose fertility. <laughs> Bakery for flour with twice the efficiency of communal ovens. Converts all inhabitants to artisans, locking them from being assigned. Oh, this is like a backyard bakery. Sheep cost 30. I don't really have that kind of money. Lambs. Lambs are cheaper than sheep. I see. And I guess grow up to become sheep. Stop this vicious cycle. You don't really cook bread. You make it inside a factory without wheat. I think we're cooking bread. <laughs> we got a little bit of bread. Eggs, berries. Who's using the auger? I need to drill holes for the pegs. This vegetable thing is not doing so well for me. I really think I need a trading post. Oh, thank God I built this well right here. I can move it. I can move this well for the 18th time. I'm going to have to. Perion, hello, dude. Thank you for 30 months. You legend. I hope you're doing well, dude. Be no union talk. Give them a row. Soon they'll be talking about elections. Don't they understand? This isn't a democracy. Boy, I sure hope somebody moves this. Uh, this is one thing I would like to see implemented is probably, and I'll, I'll give this as feedback, the ability to, like, prioritize. Please use these supplies first. Please bring the big ox over here. Not enough funds for import. Tavern finished construction. But we got no alcohol. Not much good a tavern does without booze. Build dungeons for all the future union leaders. Gormacker, hello, dude. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Tell you folks, another fantastic creator. Our good boy. Also playing some Anomaly. I love it. Love it. I honestly cannot wait to get into it. But I had to sink my teeth into this today. I've been so eagerly awaiting this today. 
And I got to tell you, so far so good. Previous taxation was minus five. Current taxation is minus six. The new church is almost done. I suppose if I tithe less food... Conquering bandit camps, upgrading your churches and manors. Mm. I can already tell you the reply. Use your relocate button instead of demolishing it. I couldn't relocate the well. I did look for that. He says. Correct. Yes, there was no relocate button. I'm not crazy. It's okay. Beer in those times was just cooked water. Dark and grim. Would have known earlier the embargo drops to 70 today. I would have planned accordingly. Ah, uh, yeah. It's always the trade-off. Which embargo do you go for? Uh, what? This arrow is so big. It's making me think like they need a lot of room, but I feel like that's okay. I'm going to give these homies a well. And then you better believe we're going to try to sneak some more burgers plots in here. build just steep enough they're small plots but I think they'll work the town grows uh, let's see if we can get this church finished, because I would really like that done. Can you build a wall? You can build a wall around your manor. Which I'm assuming will eventually upgrade to, like, stone castle walls. I gotta do some work on this. But right now, I'm happy with it. 100% crazy. I bet you drink your water with wine and your wine with lead. Sweet old lead. Are there rivers? There are underground rivers. Underground water. It's a bit hard to see because it's winter right now. Uh, are there actual rivers? You know, that's a good question. Yes. There are. The more you know. Do we have any rivers in our territory, though? I do not think so. We're more of a rocky highland. Rocky lowland, perhaps? Church upgraded to 250 influence. Oh, yeah, this church looks much nicer. Our trading post also done. Beautiful. Beautiful. Commodities, military, food, crops, construction, roof tiles, route required. Trading posts with traveling merchants, trade posts and trading posts in other regions. Regional wealth is the currency used for trade. When employed, one family member travels to the nearest possible destination to conduct trade, while other family members manage the inventory. If needed, assigned families will automatically set up stalls on the marketplace to sell imported goods. Well, let's put somebody in here. Uh, let's not put anybody in here, because I don't have any horses. And we are out of clay, my dudes. That's the end of the clay. That went faster than I anticipated. I guess we'll start digging the iron. Uh, there is a rich clay deposit over here, which is an unlimited clay. Eventually. Small river. Stone walls, not played millennia. Go for bone walls. 
Don't consume lead with your food. How posh are you? Not a peasant. I bathe in lead. I got so much lead, we painted the house with it. You just watch. I'll show you how much lead we've got. Uh, I should... Arguably upgrade these. Damn, you need money to upgrade to level three. The problem is if I upgrade without this tavern, they're going to be big sookie babies about it. <gasps> A sheep! One sheep! Katharina. I have enough room for 75 sheep in here. All right. It's a lot more sheep than I needed. I didn't think it was going to be like that. Ah. Why does nothing fit the way I want it to? Think I could fit a road in there? Probably not. Oh, <laughs> it's so close. I can't believe that's just like I could build it, but it's not facing the right direction. Hey, this forester is doing a pretty good job. Feels like. Eat lead paint because it's tasty. You can make a law that makes beheading everyone unhappy. Put a smile on everyone's faces. I'm not sure it works like that, but I don't know enough to say for certain. <laughs> if your sheep catches fire, build another well. I mean, I should actually probably have a well like right here. here. I have one there. I have one there. I'll allow it. The music in this game is very good. I gotta say. Five fifty two. Do, 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 da, 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 ba, ba, ba. All right, we're starting to get a bit more population going. I guess I could put one family on here. And then, like, do I have? Lots. Dedicated traveling merchant will regularly visit your region to trade only for this specific type of good. $7. I don't have enough money to do this. Oh, okay. I can sell everything. I understand. Aha. Mm, okay, so these trade routes are really cheap to establish. These ones. It's also they give us extremely very little value. Well, more advanced goods are much more valuable. I'm getting it. I'm starting to figure it out. 
build toilets next to the well, you can start recycling early. Uh, I actually kind of did. Technically, this is like, this is a toilet. So it would just poop out into the street. Running out of food. That seems like it could be a problem. Can't do any hunting. Oh my god, I did it again. I forgot to assign people to, to forge for berries. And it's the middle of summer. Guys, stop making food stalls. We don't have any food. I don't know why you're building food stalls. There's like nothing to eat right now. Okay, we have two lamb. We have no sheep. I assume those lamb are going to grow up, but I don't know how long it's going to take them. Probably like a year. Maybe I need more fields going than this. These guys seem to be able to plant the whole field pretty early. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I should be doing double. Double back to backs. It's your fellow fellow and then rye there. Maybe that's the way to do it. Can't put your humans on the street for meat. The road would get dirty. No eating people. We're not there yet. It's not to say we might not get there, but we're not there yet. Start a fire that'll increase the price of the planks. Angrim, sorry. Good night, dude. Hope you have a nice day. Hope you sleep well. Nice day for me. Nice night for you. Uh, I would love to get... booze imported or I guess if we imported barley so expensive I might just be better off importing ale but it costs a fortune as well Okay, requirements not met, no food. I'm worried. I'm worried about the food. Uh, I think the thing that would benefit me the most is um, if I could start getting some more backyard plots going. Great, I have more people moving in. Just what I needed. I need chicken coops. And I need money to make chicken coops. 
or really what I need is like these need to be big vegetable farms. I kind of want all of these like tall burgages to be veggie farms. Ooh. Oh, you guys are plowing. You're not going to get on that rye at all. No chance. Why wait when you can eat that tasty neighbor right now? No eating the neighbors. I thought we've been over this. What are you selling? <gasps> you sold to a traveling merchant, which means I can build a couple veggie gardens. Awesome. So he's selling stone and planks. Blocks. How do I make blocks? Firewood cart, food carts. Great question. Is it perhaps an upgrade? Charcoal burning. Uh, it, this might just be something we like don't have access to yet. This is heavier than it looks. I suppose nobody needs to be working in the clay furnace anymore. Seeing as there's no clay to be had. This is literally double maxed out, so I'm not going to put anybody on that. Um, and I suppose I don't need anybody trading livestock anymore at the moment. That's up a little bit, so I can put someone back on that. The berries are being harvested. We're up to two months. It's not a great feeling so far. Probably just put this smithy stuff at the top of this hill. Worst case, I could actually have more houses right here. It's an option. Seeing as we have a lot of cliffside. Uh, we never did get a weaver in, did we? No, sir. We did not. I don't want anything in here except, like, nobility. Flexible plot. I wish I could uh, uh, edit a plot as well. Fish for sheep and lambs to graze without enough space, the animals may run away. So, like, I am assuming that they are collecting materials to bring to, like, the clothing stalls. Or I guess they will, sorry, once the sheep get big enough, I suppose there's still lambs for right now. That's all good farming territory, so I don't want to build the weaver's workshop there. If I moved this shrine, perhaps, I could fit it in the tanner over here. I don't actually think I can. Can 
Can I move the tanner? Pause the building. I mean, he's got lots of leather. Literally paraphrase Bruce the Sharks. Neighbors are friends, not food. Some fine truth to be had there. I think I might put a road back here. Up for debate right now. Mole yarn and flax for linen. This guy makes berries into dye. I could put the the weaver up there. I suppose eventually this will probably be sheep fields. You know what? I'll do it. We're growing. We're learning. We're starving. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like none of these vegetables are going to make enough food. Cool. So you can actually see what people have access to here. So certain houses have access to meat and vegetables. It looks like that one vegetable plot I have supplies about four to five houses. Exposed stocks are getting soaked in the field. Ah, we're getting them though. Did we ever pick up a horse? We didn't. Or sorry, a second ox. At a plowing station. There we go. That should help. Okay, so everyone pretty much has access to leather, but nothing else. And yeah, okay, everyone can reach it. It's just like one after the other. For some reason, this guy can't seem to reach it for fuel, for firewood. Unclear as to why. There should be enough supplies there for him. Uh, but we shouldn't build any further this way for housing. Because it's going to take them too long to get it to market. Which means... Housing either grows here. Or up here. It might have to grow both. Best their dry rations only to be consumed at the worst of times. I mean, we have like a bit of bread and stuff going on. Or I guess we should start making bread. Man, I can't believe like, it feels like I have a lot of eggs and not a lot of actual chickens. Goats, chickens. Everything costs so much money. Truth be told, I don't know what tools are going to do for us. But I suppose we might as well start making them. It's October. We've harvested all the food.
we have not enough. I can pretty comfortably say not enough food going on. Yo, Bubbalo! Mana Lords is going very well, my dude. Things are good. We have a beautiful little town. Everyone is about to starve the moment winter hits. It's perfect. Who could ask for anything more? All right, well, we got the weaver workshop, but I don't think we have anything to weave, not until those sheep grow up. I wonder if I shouldn't have more families working the farm. Plowing by hand, transporting, fetching water. Okay, I want this farmhouse to have permanent permanent ox. Yes, look at him go. There's our oxy boy. Look how fast. Look how fast he plows. Such a good boy. As it should be. Went to the store at 100% approval. Now at 62. Yeah, and dropping. And we're about to have a big starvation issue. Added taxes. Told people to fifth fast every fifth day. Uh, that reminds me. I should stop taking food for the church. Listen, 60% is still good approval rating. The real issue is that we have no food. Ten. The real issue is that we have no food. The vegetables here are starting to grow. The carrot farms. And truth be told, this is where all the money is going to be. These are big plots, which is why I want them farmed up. Uh, I don't think this is going to give us enough food to survive the winter, but it'll be closer. We have enough fuel. <laughs> I'm in danger. Food and clothes ran out tends to make people unhappy. We're, we're going to unclose. We're going to unclose. It's just the food. Give it a try. Maybe if you give it a birth, you might change your mind. No idea this game was out yet. It comes out on the 26th. So we've just got to a little early access on a press build here. Press release. Yeah, actual release on the 26th. I believe so. So we're, we're early access. There are like some bugs and whatnot. Um, but it's so far pretty good. Mules. Ooh. Can I permanently put one in here? No, I guess not. Early access demo. Yep, yep. If you make laws that says everyone has to be naked all the time, they'll no longer be unhappy from the lack of clothes. Again, we have clothes. Everyone is just draped, draped in leather uh, from the hunt. I have one month left of food. Please. Please, us. There's nothing left to eat. Our families will starve. There's a couple wild animal to get. Ah, uh, this place is a rich wild animal deposit and rich iron. We're definitely moving over here next. <laughs> Excuse me. The ends of this cold. Poking its head up. I'm gonna try to get another set of chickens here because chickens seem to be my other answer. Uh, it seems like a big thing is like, make sure to don't build burgage plots. Don't build houses unless your burgage plots are already upgraded. 
that's kind of how you you maintain food i think more than anything else we should be fine this next year it's just that we have to get through this one winter and we're gonna starve during it and we're gonna lose people and our approval is gonna drop it is a classic colony builder issue a lot of new stuff's added since the demo was released yes in particular the development tree and also armies which i keep forgetting we haven't actually looked at How do I do this? Select units with the left mouse button. Hold and drag to select multiple units. Command with the right mouse button. Hold and drag to form a line. Alt to keep the formation. Hold control to draw waypoints. The combat strength of your units depends on many factors. Stances, morale, willingness to fight, fatigue, and effectiveness. Archers will struggle shooting in the rain. Units have a hard time fighting uphill. Full tab to inspect for detail. In home region, plus 90. Experience, 25. Balanced. Missile alert. Give ground. Stand your ground. Push forward. Disband. Spread out. Run to positions. Hold. So we basically have a bunch of Bardish guys, and then we have Koontz with the shield and uh, shield and hammer. I guess maybe he's like our blacksmith. Hop 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 hop. Hop 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 hop. I'm just running drills. Get them in a little line formation here. Oh, I like the way they move. It's a bit janky around some of the buildings, but not too bad. All right, how do I disband you guys? 80% effectiveness. Fatigue, 21%. Oh, cool. And cohesion. So as they like get into position and stay in position, they also like get better. Uh, I just want them to, like, unrally. Yeah. Now they all go back to work. Cool. Cool. Bonkman Koontz. One month of food. Good thing it's not nearly winter. <laughs> uh, we got two months. We managed to poke through a little bit here. Bread, eggs, and a little bit of vegetables. We even got some meat from the hunters. We're in January. It's definitely tighter than I'd like. Dude's got 73 flour here. What's going on with the communal oven? That we got so few people working it. Where are my people? What are they doing? Transporting. Waiting, transporting, peddling. Sick! Coonrad, sick. We could add a herb garden. It's probably not a terrible idea. It's a bit expensive. I didn't realize people were getting sick in our town. Just a little bit more concerned with the food at the moment. So I'm going to get some more eggs. If you add mandatory oil baths, cooking can be way more humane. You can make your cooking more humane and make 100% American food. No tainted cow. Tainted by illegal alien cows. Whatever the name of your place is. We're Turgopolis. We're not American. Distract the people from their starvation by running drills. Works every time. Seems to be okay.
We're going to have all these vegetable gardens just going berserk this upcoming year. We got two months. Two months of Jan. How is this doing? 10. They won't hunt when it goes under 10. Which is a little bit tricky. Feels like we're coming out of it. How do we... Hold on here. Treasury. Diplomacy, hiring retinues and mercenaries is settling a new region. Influence for pressing claims. King's favor and royal tax. So like... Two hundred and fifty treasury points. Claim with a thousand influence. All right, well, we're halfway to claiming our next zone. Which doesn't feel too bad. I don't know where the mercenaries come into. I keep saying like, uh, you know, mercenaries are ready. But I'm not sure where they live. They might be a little more further in. Make snow farms before winter is over. Uh, we're just preparing for the spring. That's all. We got to stay ready. Uh, we also need to put somebody on the stone camp. 100 stone. Stone is one of our nice trade goods. I mean, planks is better, but... Uh, we could set up a trade route for these planks. Which we're making a lot of. Ah, I'm going to do that. We do have a lot of woods. Oh, thank God. It's springtime. We did it. And we're up. We're up in food. We went from two months to three months. You doubted me. Look at all of our eggs. Look at all this bread we have. Oh, my God. Everybody's eating 100% good. Almost everybody. Now, I don't know how long exactly that's going to last for, but. Wow, I just made a insane amount of cash off of those planks. So I'm going to buy some sheep. I'm going to build another vegetable garden. I would love to get an apple orchard going. The trick is finding out how to do it. Yes. I could do it right there. How come you work so well and you work so bad on this side? I have no idea. I mean... This is kind of a nice area.
wild that I can go up the slope like this. Um, let's actually see if we can go even further back, if that's going to be the case. That would be a crazy orchard. Let's do it. On the outside of town. It's going to take three years for that apple orchard to actually like produce fruit. Ah, and we have no unassigned families. I could see that being a problem. I also have nobody working that livestock post. Yeah, three years, it says, for the apples. We should have planted them a very, very long time ago, but we didn't. Now we deal with the consequences of that. I kind of want these guys to all become like artisan shops. Forging hut work area is empty. That is not true. That is fundamentally incorrect. I love how this is going to take all of like two logs to create. <laughs> Question answered as it was asked. Look at me getting better at reading the chat one day at a time. Wow, this is the craziest plot of land. Apple harvests around September every year. Oh, the orchards only produce a fraction of the yield until year three. Doubles the maximum family count for this spot. We can absolutely do that. We might as well. I love how despite them owning this entire bit of land, they were like, nah, we don't need to build all the way out there. We're just going to have one house there, one house here. We're good with that. We'll have a front lawn to show how luxurious our land is. Wow, dude, I can't believe how much money I am making off this trading post ever since setting up this plank trading good. I know that money's not going to be forever, but holy moly, is it a lot right now. Ghosts give a passive yield of hide. You guys give a passive yield of eggs. Hide does not seem to be a problem. I'd rather have a surplus. So these guys have a second house here now as well. Little helper's home. Ooh, I love how it like built into the into the hillside almost. What a nonsense property. And these are all going to be apple trees. Oh, that's going to be so good. That's going to be nuts. Uh, that does mean that we could just build regular houses over here. And I think that's what we'll do. Add a well to your apple farm. A house for slaves. No. No slave houses. Do not want. Uh, let's... Seem to have a little bit of difficulty building around this guy yeah uh, we can add more garrisons and the like here 
Maximum retinue size by 12. 10 garrison space. I guess I should have a second one of these towers. If one is there, one ought to be down here. We got the supplies for that. Couple of rye fields going. Oof. I will say not allowing the double fallow is kind of tough. I'm hoping all these vegetables and, and eggs really make the difference. And it looks like they should. If I have vegetables, eggs, and berries, technically I have everything solved. And then when berries go off in the winter, bread will come up. And then meat, hopefully over time with all these sheep. Just speaking of. I have to assign someone here. I have all these people and I'm like, how? <laughs> 23, 28? I have 25 houses and 28 families. There we go. There's an extra person. Just what I needed. Don't dare touch the Lord's property with their plots. Not all of us work. Everyone else is noble. How am I liking it so far? I love it. I think it's really good. Um, It's a very cute city builder. And it's satisfying, and it's got enough of a challenge in it. I mean, we're playing on, like, uh, whatever the medium difficulty is. Obviously, I haven't really gotten to the combat yet. We do have a small army, but not much of one. More family members moving in. Good. I probably should turn down the music, but it's such a jam, I don't want to. technically don't need someone on the sheep farm until we actually have sheep. That'll be nice as that goes up, though. Why do combat when you can pay the protection fee, right? Our population's doing well. We survived the winter. We didn't starve. We have a massive orchard starting, which should help with the food problems. We have all these vegetable farms started now as well, which should help with the food problems. Some people haven't planted as much. Oh, cool. Some people grow cabbages. Other people grow like carrots. These kind of look like they might be like potatoes. I thought they just all grew um, carrots. Or hillside farming. I love the hillside farms, actually. It's very satisfactory. Wonder what combat looks like. It's probably going to be a big piece of the interest. Yeah. I did vote for you. Sirik. Thank you for 34 months of tier two, dude. You didn't vote for me, but you got me anyway. Sounds like the peasants are starting to revolt. Twenty-two percent crop growth. I do wonder about burning the fields and how much that must replenish your stock. Hope you're doing well, dude. Did some watery tart throw me a sword and now I'm the king? I think that's how it works. It's not a good basis for government, but I do believe that's how it works. 
Hmm. Are we not taxing people because the manor is under construction? Second question. Where the hell is all the wood? What's our ox doing? Waiting. Waiting. Why are you waiting? This needs log delivery. Uh oh. Why does the logging camp own a market stall? Oh, I have questions. Oh, no. Well, somebody's moving it. Oh, there he is. Oh, hilarious. They're actually using the farm ox right now to move all the lumber up. Need more whips and dungeons? Where there's a whip. There's a way. No, we're not. We're not role playing the Dark Lord today. My God, everybody has to walk all the way up this hill just to poop. Oh, could you imagine this? You're at home. The urge hits you. You come out. You've got to take a poop. You have to go all the way up this hill every single time. Way down the garden path. You're going to be out of breath by the time you get up here. That's a journey. That's a long day's journey into night. Climb up the rest of this magnificent hill. What do we have? Nothing. Hopefully more farmland eventually, but. Beautiful. Oh, those orchards are going to look so good, dudes. Letting all that poop roll downhill onto the crops. I know, right? It's like automatic fertilizer. Just works perfectly. Fertilizes everything downhill. Yeah. I mean, it seems like a dangerous position to be in. But also, it kind of does make sense. Eventually, when we get sheep and another level, we can have the sheep go over to the fields and poop in the fields when they're fallow. And they'll make it better. Lamb, lamb, sheep, sheep. <coughs> Ooh, who's this guy? He must be a traitor. Sounds like it. Oh, he's like in the next, the next town over. It does make me wonder about like, are there other villages? I thought in the beta, in the demo, there were. But I imagine I just must be imagining that what's going on here pantry is full <gasps> oh you know what one of the issues are i'm so dumb nobody is working the granary so places are filling up on food and then they're stopping working because there's nowhere to store it because nobody is getting the extra and moving it into the granary All right, I'm taking somebody off the bloomery here. And the smithy for that matter. I don't need both of those going. Uh, this mining pit is completely empty. I definitely don't need anybody on that. I wonder if I shouldn't put somebody on the storehouse then too. I like in the demo, you used to have to put people on the marketplace, and I like that they just like automated that. Look here. There's 
Workers are grave diggers. I probably don't need anybody working here, seeing as there's no graves to dig. I definitely don't. I'm going to put someone on the weaver's workshop and someone on the sheep farm. And I want more sheep. I want significantly more sheep. We bought sheep. Yeah, yeah. It's just to take some a while to show up. So the trader has to like go to another area, buy a sheep, and then walk all the way back with it. No thief will go to the poop site. So you have to protect only one side. Have some good optimization. This seems like it might take a PC chug a bit once you get big cities. Apparently, the, um, the requirements are quite low. Like, they're quite modest from what I was reading um, in a couple of reviews last night. A menu that shows all my jobs. Mm, I don't think so. There aren't a lot of like uh, UI menus and stuff, which I feel like they could be pretty easy to add in as like an after effect. Easy-ish. Well, perhaps it was simply a bad match. <laughs> These things do happen from time to time. You just hear those two people saying the exact same line? One woman, one, one man. Saying the exact same line at the same time? That was pretty cool. <gasps> Apples. Apples! I have a feeling this is going to break the economy. I'm going to have so many apples, I'm not going to know what to do with them all. Upgrade to large granary. Mm, I could do that. What I would like is for somebody to finish building this place, though. And they seem to be really struggling to bring the wood. No, no, the ox is still there. It is slow. I guess it's because it's also the farm ox. If that mine is empty, make it into a maze as a tourist attraction. It's less of a mine and more of just a pit. We can fill it with balls, make a fun ball pit. Pay you money to visit, it'll give you free food and get lost in the maze and die. Five minutes, wonder why the dead are piling up in the streets. Jeez, I hope not. You do raise a good point, but I don't think anybody is dying. Another food stall. Make cider. That's what I'd like. Right now, the only thing you can make is... um. Uh, uh, booze from, like, malt? From barley? Where is it? Malt house. Workers use barley to produce malt. Needs to be refueled once a month. But the problem is, is that my entire territory is, like, super trash on making barley. We don't have any good barley land. Nor is this area. These guys got good barley land. And these guys got good barley land. Wow, do they ever have good barley land and good flax land. I wish I knew what em em emmer was. I'm assuming this is just wheat. Because I haven't seen it as like an option to actually make. Thirty-nine, sixteen percent. Oof. I am gonna cause problems here. I'm over farming my fields. Transporting, peddling, transporting. All right. Hmm. As long as we're transporting. Apples can be made into cannonballs harder than rocks if fired from a cannon. Good land. Maybe they'll share some of it. Send an army and ask. Uh, so we need to get a thousand influence. Okay. Now that the manor is upgraded, I can put back on the church tithe.
Mercenary tax, citizen tax, banalities. Every time the mill grinds grain into flour. Yeah, so we need to get this to a thousand to claim a nearby area, and then we need 250 in the treasury um, to be able to actually build a new town. And I guess the hope is like you get your own city kind of set up so that it runs naturally during that period. I like uh, the fact that there's eight slots in here makes me wonder like if I put more people on this, will they get more out of this? Or will they just do the job faster? Fuel, two months. Why are we running so low on fuel? Some workplaces consume fuel per month. That's probably the answer. Well, another firewood stall is opened up. Hopefully we can get that settled. We have a lot of stone. Stuff in the field is already starting to go bad, but it shouldn't be that. We have the oxen up here. It's going to help gather resources. So this is my real question here is, is this is uh, two and one Morgans. Can they harvest all of this before the winter? Uh, we're selling planks. We're not selling wood. So kind of like the more advanced construction materials. That's not a lot. 10% tax a lot. Americans revolted with two. 10% was, I think, the base tax I could start with. Maybe I do need another family of farmers. Oh. Stocks damaged by weather. Pantry is full of apples. Yeah. I think I need more people working this granary, dudes. I have eight months of food right now. I think what I actually just need is more people. Nine plots. Seems a bit egregious. Ten plots. Ooh, is that what we want to go for? See, I wish you could like drag and drop the plots when you're in this mode. That's seven, and a bunch of them have upgrades for additional land. This would give all of them six with additional land. One, two, three, four, five. Seven and five, or six and six. That's kind of the same number, just with different sized burgage plots. I like the idea that these all have a second um, house that they can build on their property, allow for more families to move in. The Noble District. How did I get early access? Uh, I, I know the publishers. And as a content creator, they uh, 
give it to people who are good for selling it, I guess. Oh, the fuel. What is going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we need unassigned families, but... I guess nobody is buying any more sheep at the moment. So we could probably take you off to start building burgers plots. Deal with the devil. That's the real answer, I suppose. These guys just keep opening up firewood stalls. And what I want them to do is just, like, cut firewood. Felling trees. Oh! I understand. I didn't before, but I understand now. They're struggling because they have to go all the way back here to get trees. There's no trees nearby for them to cut. I misunderstood how this job worked. I big time misunderstood how that job worked. I thought they took lumber from the logging camp and they cut that into logs. So I thought I was like creating a chain of events and not realizing they actually go out and cut their own trees, which is where all these trees have been going. So nine plots, 10 plots, ah, ha, ha, 11 plots, ah, ha, ha. Can't wait for everyone to start starving again because I've built all these new homes. Agent playing makes us viewers want to buy a good deal, so they take it. It's basically it. It's free advertising for them. It's content for me. It's a good trade. Sometimes it's paid advertising, but that's very rare. Not easy to get paid. Upgrade to level two, expand living spaces. Max family camp for this burger's plot. I mean, I guess we'll let them build all their homes first before I start giving them new jobs. Feel bad for those tree cutters. First, they have to walk miles to cut trees, then miles to use their outhouses. It's a tough life. Uh, all right. It's high priority, that. So, it looks like one family can work two Morgans worth of fields. So, if I had one more two Morgan fields here... which I could definitely do. Hear me out on this. Fallow, fallow. Fellow, fellow, right, fellow. We'll change that to fellow next year. So you guys are ride that year. Your guys are ride this year. You guys are ride that year. So each year we should work two Morgans worth of the fields and then we can rotate between them. And I think that should keep us good. 
until we build another set of firms over here. Pay with the blood of the peasants. What's the first barrel on the top bar? How much booze you have stocked? Uh, this is a number of months before supplies run out, so I'm running out of fuel. Hence this woodcutter's lodge. Where I'm going to be moving. I actually think I'm going to move... All of them. Sorry, dudes. Firing all my market stalls. Tools, spears, and sidearms. Shoes. Did I ever make a cobbler's workshop after? No. I'm just going to make you a cobbler's workshop. I suppose that I could make this guy into a brewer. <clears throat> and maybe I don't need to build... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And then I could probably just import malt. It's crazy expensive, but... Got no constructor families right now. Cobbler shop. Now, what do you need to cobble? I don't know. Linen dies. Yarn and dies. I don't make linen. I do make yarn. This guy just turns leather into shoes. Oh my god, I could have solved that problem a long time ago. I do want someone on this dyer's workshop. I'm quite curious whether or not this weaver is actually doing anything. Also, this sheep farm. Herding sheep. So I have to assume he does actually do a job. Winter is coming. We are extremely low on fuel. But hopefully, we can start moving some stuff. Shoemakers should be called cobblers. They are. Cobbler. Cobbler shop. Morgan means morning and used to be about how much field you could plow with a single ox plow in one morning. Oh. Well, the more you know. That is a very fun fact. I love it. Uh, the berry makers don't really do much this time of year, but I'm too scared to take them off because every time I do, I forget to put them back on and we starve. But I am going to upgrade their herb shop while the winter hits. Berries fit for a king. We could start making dye out of them. I'm very, very interested in doing that. All right. I guess we just got to hope that we keep up on fuel. Oh my God. We are almost out of stone. 
Uh oh. I think I'm going to stop trading stone. It's not worth a lot of money. And I feel like I'm going to need it as we grow and get bigger. Fire up that army. Well, we're almost at enough to move into the next area. Woodcutter's Lodge is full. Log piece transitioning. All right. This is good. They're working hard. Uh, I guess this clay pit isn't really valuable, but I kind of just like it for posterity's sake. Same with the iron pit. Mm, all right, we're back up to three fuel. We caught back up. How are we doing on um, all of our foods and everything? Clothing, we have feet, we have yarn. Okay, we are making yarn. So if I put somebody on that dye workshop. They should start making berries, dye. And then this guy can start turning that yarn and that dye into cloaks. And that'll be better for us in the long run. You need a thousand influence. Yeah, so we're trying to um, creating the church in the manner. We're trying to uh, uh, tithe the food right now. Excess food goes to the tithe. I could actually maybe increase this. We're doing kind of good on food now. He says, almost certainly damning the entire village. Red eggs, vegetables, apples, berries. We still suck on meat. We don't have any honey. Apples are going to start going up as this continues to grow. I think this is one year under our belt on the orchard now. We almost have enough taxes to build the new location once we claim it. Cloaks, we get to be fashionable. I really hope, because uh, I think our people will actually, like, have cloaks on now. Uh, and they should have cobbledy gobbledies. You're going to build the Brewer's Extension. You guys are all moving in. Good. Watch me add another six families. Ah, the old overexpansion special. My favorite. Brewery. So you guys are going to buy malt now and make ale. And then I'm going to assign one person to work the tavern. And then I think... I can start selling apples, probably. Apples actually sell for three, which is pretty rock solid. Yeah, look at this. Our fuel, fuel's gone up. Our food's doing okay. Six months, seven months. 
it's down from eight nine but that's still like pretty good i'd like to be in a position where we can stock a year's worth of food and fuel oh my god what was that was that the malt buying that just took like a hundred regional wealth from me has living room for one extra family and two families for plots with living space expansion i mean seeing as these guys are the guys who are technically pushing everybody else into level three by opening the tavern i'm happy to have the brewery get upgraded Is there anything like we have a lot of? Leather, we seem to do pretty good on. Shoes, 42 shoes. Can I sell shoes? Oh, I can sell shoes for a lot of money. But I have to spend 96 gold to open a trade route up because it's a specialty good. I think that's going to be the real money maker for us right there. I'd really, really, really like to get sheep breeding. Because otherwise I don't make new sheep. Which seems kind of crazy that you have to unlock this, but... I'd like to be able to fertilize as well, but I, I think... The sheep money is what's kind of needed next. Not having access to... This kind of barley stuff is really, really slaughtering me here. I could grow a field out here. Or like out here. And I might just have to, even if it produces really low quality. Our first level three burgage plot. The fancy brewery. Wow, they're generally pretty good if they can get tavern. They want four types of food in the marketplace, which I'll be real is surprising we don't have. Berries, eggs, vegetables. Oh, I suppose apples. They're still coming online. gathering berries getting a basket all right well that's working slowly but surely uh we do have a lot of new people in town enough so that i feel pretty comfortable You guys are meant to be on fallow this year, but whatever. 7% on that raw is terrible. I do want to get some fields going down here. I mean, that's exactly one Morgan. That seems like a smart choice. Oh, this windmill doesn't actually have, like, proper um, points behind it, around it. So 
so close. If we went like here. That's another Morgan. Oh, that's really quite ugly in there. Let's figure out what we can do to make that look a little bit nicer. That apple orchard is one plot. Yeah. I don't know how the harvest is going to be. They do have two families living on the plot. So I'm hoping for the best. But it's going to be a little bit chaotic for sure. What I'd give for just like one more point. Drives me wild. All right, it's obviously got to be like you. I mean, I could just do smaller fields. take it it's not quite as nice as i hoped but it does look okay so i guess um I guess it would be that is the idea. Oh, I love it. Look at it. This field is plowing itself. I have no idea how. A Morgan. Uh, we just recently found out it's a morning. Basically, it's how much you can you can farm with a single ox in one morning. Oh, I wonder if maybe this is why this is getting plowed so fast. This guy is actually out here. Secret plowing the fields. Can we get someone up here to finish this farmhouse? There you go, dudes. And then we'll throw a family on this. I suppose. You know what? I, I, I don't see why I couldn't be doing this. As long as I'm rotating the crop to a different crop. It should technically be fine. So you guys are fallow that season, you guys are fallow that season, and you guys are fallow in that season. They're going to need a second set of hands. And then these guys are fine. One family can farm two Morgans. So they'll do barley, rye, and then go fallow for a month. But I feel like that should work. I think I'm going to need another market stall down here. Or... Here? Like, 
I could put a Mercastel behind this trading post. Uh, I don't know if I'd like it, though. This marketplace is actually looking pretty full. Freestall locations is zero. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, this is where the town is going to be over here. So expanding in that direction is not an awful idea. Not at all. Morgan is German for morning. Yeah. Month, what magically fast growing crop have you got there? Oh, it doesn't grow in a month. It grows in like many, many seasons. You have to plow it. Then you have to sow it. Then you have to let it grow. Then you harvest it in the, in the, in the springtime. I think with the addition of an additional set of farms, another stable might be in order. Mm, I'd fit you there pretty well. I was kind of wondering what to throw in here. I suppose it makes as much sense as anything else. Dudes, I am dirt broke right now. I think I need to stop buying malt. I think I am breaking the bank buying malt. Yeah, I for sure am. <laughs> Hilarious as that is. Morning in Norwegian. It runs in all Germanic languages. So cool. After Banish and the like, I'm amazed how good this game looks. It looks so good. I mean, the fact that you can do this and wander around the town and it all looks so nice. I mean, there's obvious problems with like, like clipping and stuff. People walking like just into houses instead of using the door but like you know some of that's going to be in there this is just like a work in progress sort of thing right the fact that you can go into your town and all of these people you know that they live in places that they're working jobs they all have like some relations to each other they're all going about their business I think they all have traits too as well because like at least the people in our army we could see like they dislike horses and stuff like that oh god good sir right like a shepherd this lady's going up to work in the fields some buxom milkmaids it's incredible pointy shoes i do wonder who that guy on the horse was Fritz? Yeah, look, you get a little thing you can put over them. Oh, this is interesting. It shows you, like, what you're missing, what you need. Uh, one thing we are going to need with all this new barley coming in is a malt house. Which, of course, is going to be big and ugly. And require a lot of territory. This song reminds me of a song, and I cannot put my finger on it. Like, I am sure I know this song from somewhere. So utterly positive that I know this song from somewhere. I wonder how this guy's doing for efficiency. Uh, not a lot of places I can really put this malt house. My city is starting to run into some planning issues. What's really funny is I've put this manor in the absolute best spot in town where I would love to just be building literally everything else. 
And ironically, the manor doesn't matter at all. So like I could have put it up on this cliffside and it would have worked really well. Now, I might change my mind once I start getting attacked. But as of right now, that's certainly the vibe I feel. I guess I'm going to have to put the mole shop up here. I need money, honeys. I need money so that we can open up this trading um, post. I'm going to start exporting stone again. I know we're limited on stone. But I'm going to do it. One dies. <laughs> like, I can't wait to start making armor. Can I interest you in a very reasonably interested loan? Tempting. Tempting. Uh, I suppose we could throw some back on the bloomery and the smithy. I've got a lot of extra people. All these extra houses over here really paid off. Okay, food and fuel are both at five months. I feel like that's a decent number. As long as we don't start like magically dipping below that. It's summertime. We have harvest coming up later. I've got rye and rye. So we should have a lot of grain coming up this year. Herbs and berries. Uh, let's upgrade the pantry. And then let it run. Let it cook, as they say. Oh, yeah, these guys are pulling in big firewood all over the place. I feel like I might actually just put this guy on clear work area. Give him unlimited because he's just going to plant anywhere that he can. And I think I feel okay with that. This berry deposit, it feels like no matter how many people we have on it is at 100% all the time. Probably because it's a rich deposit. So I should really set up more people. Because worst case, I end up with too many berries and I can start selling berries. You're making die pretty successfully. You must be making yarn. So the real question is, are you making cloaks? No, we are making shoes though. We're up to 92 shoes. All right, so literally if I can save up enough money to open a shoe trade route we're going to be able to just start selling shoes and like printing cash printing enough cash that we can start buying some sheep which will start getting us cloaks and then we can start selling cloaks nobody's making barely this season so i'm not going to open the malt house Uh, though the nice part about this is I could now then start importing barley at 12 instead of malt at uh, 14. That saves a little bit of money, but not much. I don't know how these guys can't find anything to gather in their work area when they have this huge seasonal rich deposit of berries. That must be a bug. Because they seem to be gathering. 
Churl walk straight through you to the pillory. Can berries be fermented? No, right now only malt can be. It would be nice to see berries and apples be fermentable. And I suspect we'll see that down the road. I'd be shocked if we didn't. All burger's plots are occupied. Get more bucks. Get more bucks. I love that we just, the logging camp feels like it's always full. What are you focused on? The saw pit. Ah, uh, yeah. So these guys get one log in here and they get confused. I mean, this feels like we're stocking pretty well. We have over 100 shoes. I think. I think. A 96. I need one more gold. There it is. How do I establish a trade route? Order a new horse. Do I need to do that? No. Shoes. Establish. Export shoes down to 50. Watch this. We're at 19 bucks. I'm running out of food and fuel right now. The first trader that comes along is going to buy 50 pairs of shoes at eight gold a piece. 400 gold. I hope. Oh, this is really funny. I just did, when I turn the forester hut off, like it's like immediately just a right around the forester it's being built. Family requests more market areas for their stall, a tailor shop. Well, I guess we need more market stalls. Oh, the well. I actually can't move that well. Not easily. I guess the question is, does the market actually need road access? said like here 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 and here Did that work people are having a hard time getting all the apples and the firewood away I clearly knew more people working in like um I guess the granary and the storage. I suppose as we have this marketplace grow, things should improve. Pantry is full. Yeah, see? One family is operating the granary, like the, 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 the stall. And as those fill up, it's the same thing. I also need more people in the storehouse. Because that's where all the firewood gets moved. Uh, on the bright side, it does seem like this works for the marketplace. They don't seem to have any problem passing by this well. So there's 40 stall locations here.
and we're back up to like 80 percent approval rating lack of entertainment oh that's um there's no booze We're going to start needing more housing. Three months of fuel, six of food. I'm okay with that. Yeah, even these like vegetable things are all getting full up right now. And it's taking damage because of the water. Yeah, all right. So we just need more people to work in the granary in the storehouse. Uh, which means we just need more people. Now that we have a marketplace down here, we can actually continue to expand. Somehow I can expand into these cliffs. That does not feel safe to do. I was to build eight spots. If I was to build five spots, I could give them all extra slight space. Why can't you build it, though? Too steep? You won't tell me. Too small, maybe? Hmm. I suppose in theory I could build up here. It all depends on where we want to do it. Does the next province also have barley fertility? Uh, if I went here, we could get barley fertility and get a rich clay deposit. But I wanted to go here because there's rich animals and there's a rich iron mine, um, which would allow us to get like unlimited iron. Which means we could really like set up some blacksmiths properly. Oh, I suppose I could set up some pretty nice blacksmiths up here in Burgage Plots. Armorers. Joiners, blacksmiths, tools, spears, and sidearms, helmets. Hmm. I'll do that for. four with room to grow and I can make them into like blacksmiths seems like sim city but medieval can you build castles yeah so the manor is meant to upgrade into a castle eventually but I don't know whether that's just like as you become a bigger town like we're still a village technically right now we're a large village but a village nonetheless I do need to start improving more of these plots. And we do end up needing three level three plots, but basically until we get booze sorted out, we don't have that. Uh, all right. Our cobbling job here is done pretty well. 150. We're trading off down to 50. We're making good money off of that right now. So much so. I might make a second cobbler. Mm, I'm out of leather. I see that being a bit of a problem. But 
But a trade route for dies would actually be really smart. Uh, because we have the rich berry deposit. Which means we should always be able to produce like quite a fair bit of stuff for these dyers workshop. I'm still not making any cloaks. Which is crazy because I have yarn. I guess it's just being used for like houses. Headline. Going home and waiting. Hard to say. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy warned us of a shoe-based economy? <laughs> I do not remember that part of Hitchhiker's Guide. What kind of cobbler? Peach? Oh, I'd love a good peach cobbler. I'd be okay with a peach cobbler. All right, we're going to start getting barley this year. And um, now that I'm being smarter about this and like, I guess I just forgot that like you don't have to fallow. You can just plant a different crop. It's crop rotation. It's not crop fallow. Uh, so you guys are rye and rye. Should be rye and barley, rye and barley. So we should start making a bunch of barley to make booze out of now. Hopefully, you guys have barley this season. You guys have barley that season. You have barley that season. Okay, yeah. So, there's barley every season. Barley and rye every season. Not a lot of barley, but... But... Hopefully... It'll end up being enough. And I'm pretty much just going to immediately upgrade these. We have really good approval rating, so this shouldn't be an issue. Uh, we're also making good money on treasury. Diplomacy, retinues, and mercenaries. Fuel is somehow up to eight months. I suppose I could add more for region. I could add more outer towers. Oh, these actually add to the road. To the wall, I mean. See, I've been building these wrong. <laughs> Excuse me. I didn't realize these actually built onto the walls. Oops. I also don't have enough logs to build it. Oh, I guess I'm, I'm I'm building a lot of uh, homes right now. A lot of my a lot of my homes tied up. Eventually, your shoes will be so bad that people will evolve wings to avoid wearing them. All right, that does sound pretty hitchhikers. <laughs> that certainly tracks. All right, let's get your houses up and running. We got people who need to move in. So funny sometimes they're like, uh, we're gonna half finish this house instead of completing this house. That's almost done. Let somebody else show up to finish it. I mean, I guess in a weird way that's kind of realistic, because there's only certain jobs that certain people work in a construction industry.
Maybe they need the electricians. Come in at the last minute. Finish off a bit of the wiring. All right, February. Are you my third summer? My third year? I think so. I think we're going to see all of these apple trees go boom and explode in size this year. Wow, we are making paper at the moment. I would like many more sheep. We'll keep trying to expand these. All that will remain of you is a layer in the ground of leather shoes. A cloned archaeologist named <laughs> Lintella will spend most of her time studying while avoiding foot soldiers that are insisting they just want you to enjoy your shoes, all while being in pain because their shoes are bad. This sounds like a pretty miserable existence. What hitchhikers is this from? This has to be like one of the later ones. I read them all when I was young. And now I can't remember almost any of them, except for the first one. Vegetable plots filling up. Hopefully all these new people can go work in the granary. Ironic that my problem now is actually we have the food, but we don't have the people to move the food into storage. A true twist of fate. Pretty good. I also think that people can't move into these while they're being constructed. So as I'm trying to add the extra like rooms into them, nobody will move in. 232 gold. Okay, we just sold a ton of shoes. I have a thousand dollars. I'm rich. Rich beyond my wildest dreams. King's favor. Yeah, so there's a whole diplomacy thing that I guess um, we don't have yet either. And I haven't seen like bandits yet. Making paper, meanwhile, paper money not invented yet. I'm just working at the paper mill. Like Disc World, haven't read it either way. Reread it is the best trilogy in five parts. I don't disagree with you. It is a very good five part trilogy. Except clone it. That sounds more sci-fi than fantasy. New families moving in. New family members moving in. New sheep getting bought. Oh, we're going to have so many sheep. We have six stable space. What buildings do I have that give me stable space outside of the hitching posts? Aha, the trading post. You can buy a horse. I guess I'll buy some extra oxes because they'll help with all the um, plowing if I have like two oxes per farm. I think that'd be pretty good. And I suppose we have the money for it. Thirty-two timber. I'm hoping that adding another tower here will increase my influence. TBH, not really sure if it will. Can we build a huge castle? 
I think eventually, but not yet. I think in the full version, yes. In early access, maybe not. Currently, this is as huge as our castle gets. <laughs> Which is not that huge as the castle. Technically... This part is bigger. I don't know what happened to this. It appears to have gotten deleted when I... Um, my tower here has gone missing. Clone to archaeologist tickles your brain. Something about constructing new planets and placing fossils as an in-joke. Originally a prostitute because the cloning machine messed up halfway through. Started a new clone. It could never turn it off because that would kill the half-built clone. It's such a weird series. It's a great series, but it's a weird series. I think I also need more people on this forester's hut. They seem to be, like, struggling to keep up. All right. Okay, so it looks like I gained about 10 influence. Per period. From the tithe, per month. Oh, I can have up to six people on this granary. All right. Yeah, so definitely it's it, you start hitting a point where you want less burgage plots and you want more of these additional homes. So making them smaller and adding in the additional houses ends up being like the better value. Like all along here. I suppose I could make a bunch of goat sheds. To supplement this industry. It's a bit funny. My noble district has uh, certainly changed its design. Has now become like the pasture district. Excellent. Okay, this guy is finally done. So I wanted to make this guy into... Fuel and food. You can't reach either of them, hey? Huh. I have 12 months of fuel. And yet, not enough people capable in the marketplace. to supply them. So I need an extra guy in here literally just to open a stall. The granary should be able to help with this as well. Yeah, there's the firewood stall. Hmm. Chickens, chickens. Nothing. 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 So this seems like a natural chicken coop line. Lots of chickens, vegetables, chickens, apples, upgrades, limitless clones, endless customers of them. I guess that's the good thing with clones. You can have a limited amount. Oh, we have so many sheep. Look at that. I guess we don't need them to breed now that we're making money from other things. Oh, we should probably put somebody on the malt house this year. Yes. Yarn. Are we making cloaks? 
Not yet. But soon, TM. I find it wild that they're not getting enough fuel. Oh yeah, look, there are cloaks. A bunch of people have cloaks equipped. Sweet. So they'll equip cloaks and they'll boots. And then... I guess leather and yarn only as they need it. Meat is still kind of hard to come by, but should start getting better as we get more sheep. I guess meat only comes from hunting. I'm going to put six people in the granary. Higher into the rocks. And then we'll put a permanent livestock on that farm as well, I think. I like the idea of that. Franklin dropping spoilers like a thousand bomber ray dropping bombs. I mean, I feel like with Hitchhiker's Guide, if you haven't read it at this point, you've had time. Still running a little short on this food. Berries. I should put an extra person here, seeing this, this is a rich deposit. And seasonal. Yeah, see, we wouldn't get much out of here except for clay. And more farming. Which, like, don't get me wrong, we're extremely well set up to expand our farming enterprises, but... I'm gonna cross my fingers that somehow we come up with enough to make booze. And I'm actually gonna make a second brewery there just to make sure we stay on top of it. frustrating that like I could have put all the chickens up here and then put all the blacksmithing down here where they actually have access to everything but no I had to be fancy about it I do wish I could figure out the other things in here. Like mercenaries. Production. Policies. Oh, these are all locked. Do, 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 da, 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 da. I mean, the town is bustling. It's growing. We demand fortification to keep the wood people out. I don't want them creeping in from the woods. Lo, what's up, dude? How are you? I never assumed, not after getting abused for mentioning, I thought they did a good job with the CGI of the sinking Titanic. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people were like, the Titanic was real. Which is still kind of a shocker to me. No food. You got no food. Nobody wants to work in the marketplace. Part of me wants to get rid of this market entirely, but these people would probably starve.
Harvest season is over. It looks like we did pretty good. These guys have nothing to do for an entire season. I could add another field here, maybe. Uh, they're already on the best territory. Doing good. How are you? I'm doing very well, my man. Can I play on your account when you're done? Pretty please. I could play this. I got to tell you all day. But I also got to tell you, my alarm just went off. Which means we got to stop for the day. Radical, thank you for the follow, dude. Welcome to the agency. Uh, dudes, this has been our first look at Manor Lord. We're going to be playing a lot more of this uh, next week. Sadly, that's all we can do for today. We're right on the cusp of getting all the blacksmithing stuff going and getting our little army up and running. And... I suspect once we have that, maybe we can start actually being attacked. They might not attack you until you move into a new area. You know, it says there's bandit camps and everything else. So I, I really want to explore some more. I really want to do some more. I feel like we just got the town truly up and running and doing well. But that's all we can do for today. We'll call it save game number one we'll call it turgopolis so we at least remember uh we'll be back monday with more of this in the meantime i hope you have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you again soon